of pressing the wrong button. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Happy Friday! Is that a goddamn stream deck having 32 buttons on it? I need to press the wrong one with my big thumbs. Welcome big thumb. to the... the, the I, this is a great name for this uh, in for this week's uh, Happy Hour Tavern Time. It's the Great Ton Poo Inn. Oh. So, Ian. Well, well, I can name until you say it like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the Great Tonpu Inn from Hanato Village in Hyrule. Uh, because today is the day that, that is it Skyward Sword HD mm -hmm. remastered mm -hmm. the Revengening launches? Yes. <laughs> so we thought we'd do something Zelda y Yay. Uh, Yay. as we uh, relax. Now, um, today is uh, the first day, is it the first day or the second day? I think it's the first day. It might be the second day of EGX Res and PAX Digital. Um, and last year, EGX Res was supposed to happen and there was um, Something 2020. Happened. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, in the yeah. end, <laughs> in the end, we couldn't, uh, we couldn't do it uh, in public. So uh, we invented Happy Hour Tavern Time as a, as a virtual community meet and greet party kind of thing. A, a nice little end of the day uh, drinking sesh where we can all chill out after a hard day's rezzing and just have a nice was, chat and play some games. Wasn't it actually last year in Rez is when we started Happy Hour Tavern Time? It was, yeah. yeah it, was, it was earlier in the year, though, wasn't it? I feel like it was hotter. Oh, my God. Correct. It, was, it was end of March. Um, oh my God. And so this is what is it now? Where are we? What time is life? Yeah, I'm uh, not okay. I am not okay. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, so, let's all drink to that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. pain, so, yeah. Absolutely. It's a little bit um, it's a little bit delayed anniversary, but it is technically uh, the anniversary of a, a rest. Uh, EGX, um, yeah, Happy Hour Tavern yeah. Time. Um, and uh, yeah, we, the trouble with Zelda games is there's not many places to get drunk in Zelda games. I don't know why Nintendo no, don't like to promote booze. Um, too awesome. Yeah, so we've got yeah. on the table no no alcohol. We've had to bring our own. We do have some spoons. Uh, got some forks some and forks, knives, yeah. is that? We've got some nice I'm flowers, sorry. yeah. yeah. Some lovely flowers. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, just this random old man keeps walking in and out occasionally and muttering to himself, um, you know. So I wish so, you would shut the door. There's a draft coming in and everything. Like, just keep yeah. it out. Well, mm -hmm. Actually, keep spaces ventilated. That's very important at the moment. So totally. make sure you do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe all the windows are open here. Real, we're not sure. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'm probably. They've probably done a lot of better job than we have, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Almost That's definitely. not difficult. <laughs> oh, yes. God. But yeah, we hope you're all having a good day. Um, we've got some... I've, I've got some news stories up to Ooh. have discussions over oh um, discussions and, uh, yeah we've got some quizzes <gasps> and most importantly we've got some bev so whether nice. you're non-alcoholic or alcoholic mm -hmm. we just want to chill have a nice chill time and round up the week totally um, yeah. Aoife yeah, if you sure. use the magic of perspective you can turn your head into a percy pig oh wait <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> right come on there yes! <laughs> Aoife Pig! Amazing! Nice. Oh, what was the name of that game with the pig in it? Oh, um, a video game no. with a pig in it. A really violent one. Manhunt. You're like you're from oh. Manhunt. <laughs> pig oh. mask. Yeah. There's a pig mask in that, wasn't there? <laughs> oh, Hot Like Mammy had a pig mask. Oh, that's yes. the one you're thinking of, yeah. Yes. Oh, who's that mm. guy? Where are you going? Up to date references. That's what you get here at Eurogamer. <laughs> yeah. Boop, boop. So, yeah, hopefully you're all having a, a, a nice day at home. And uh, maybe you've been already joining in on some uh, some live streams on the Rezd website and on the uh, the PAX website. Um, should we tell them about what's happening afterwards now? Yeah. Yes. So, yes, I'll put yes. a link in the chat because after this, if you're like, we're, we're going to be streaming Happy Hour Tavern Time till 6 uh, p.m. And then mm -hmm. after that, if you're like, do you know what? That was a lot of fun. I could do with a little bit more Ian, Aoife and Zoe in my life. Uh, you well, couldn't. you couldn't. Well, I got some good news for you because a link going into the uh, the chat now is a link to the PAX site uh, website, which will tell you all about our special hour long uh, panel. It's not really a panel. It's more like a let's it's not play. A panel. No, <laughs> it's a panel of screams because we have done our very own Team Euro game, a Resident Evil 7 Nightmare Challenge, where we see who can last the longest in the Nightmare DLC. And uh, it gets quite. Very yeah, it's, it's funny yeah. and stressful and. Um, Oh god! Uh, and like, just a lot of loud noises yeah, happen. Loud noises. A lot, yeah, and a lot of inappropriate jokes as well. Yeah. So it's just a delight for all. I'm not really. sure yeah. how 
the PAX crowd are going to deal with it, but who well, you knows? Know what? It's they will now. have to deal with it. <laughs> well, yes. It's in the schedule it. now. <laughs> they can't They can't go back. I mean, we, we can deal with... love it. You never know. You never they know. Love it. Yeah, that's true. That's I true. will be keeping my eyes on the emails for an email from HR in the morning on Monday, though. Oh, we weren't that bad, were we? <laughs> no, nah. no, we weren't. We were thinking, what's the best way to introduce ourselves to the Pats crowd, considering they might not know of us? I know. Let's do a Scream Fest like stream let's play. Yeah. That seems like a good idea. Right. Must just nicking for an hour. That's <laughs> Team Eurogame. So uh, yeah, well, I mean, they need to do what they're dealing with, mm. you know. Yeah, yeah, they do, exactly. yeah. Um, sure. Quick shout out to Luke Fisher, who's a brand new member. High five, Yay, Luke Fisher. Hi, hi. If you have Discord, Welcome. don't forget to go over to Discord and link uh, Discord to your YouTube channel, and then you'll get access to the Team Eurogamer uh, members only Discord. There's loads of stuff in that. A plethora of chat channels, including one that's all about that, pets. Where did you get that word from? I, do, I, I, I think I heard Johnny say it once when he worked with us. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day when Johnny worked with us, I had to yeah. go on the internet and Google a word that Johnny said once a day. Because I was Amazing. like, I don't know, what the fuck is that word? <laughs> Incredible. And as a member, you also get access to the Eurogamer emojis we have, as well as members' videos as well. There are loads of like really good ones in there. You can see Ian almost vomiting. A cocktail he made, which is a special. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm just put. I'm 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 spamming some emojis into the chat now. Oh no, nice. I'm not, I put too many. It's in. literally yeah. like the default members video I recommend whenever it comes up. <laughs> how can you not? How can you not? It gets... We should have another good one coming up soon too. Sure, mm. absolutely. Um, we've got a super chat from Hey Duke that says, "Happy Friday, all." Any news on the Nintendo Switch Pro? Um, yeah. Steam Deck was a nice Steam Deck. <laughs> yes, yeah. With the, before that, there was a OLED version of um, the Switch that came out, but that's apparently not the Pro. I've heard it's, that's not it, yeah. Yeah, it's it's just an upgraded version. But yeah, the Steam Deck, the El, is it Elgato kind of produced uh, one? No. Well, Elgato came out with new webcams yesterday. That's, that's right. what I'm afraid yeah. it it's, uh, Actually, it's a Valve I, one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is, it's Valve. I watched the whole Elgato presentation, and I have to say, like, I'm interested in the uh, the Wavelink, the um, the audio interface. That's their mm -hmm. very first audio interface. I think that was the thing that excited me most. Cause, I've not seen um, that. What is it? It's like, um, so it makes use of their, they have like an audio software that mm. you can use to balance stuff, but this is their new interface that uses, um, that allows for XLR inputs. So for example, our headsets could work oh. with um, And it means that you can, you know, you can like, without having to rely on OBS, peek behind the curtain, everyone. Right. Uh, mm. We use OBS to balance our audio in this, you could do it directly through the uh, the Wavelink and it has like a little dial and everything, um, yeah. which is really nice. Um, and their webcam also has, uh, well, the main thing is it's got built-in settings into the camera. Well, so we obviously, we struggle with our webcams quite a lot because they change all the time. Mm -hmm. They like, they auto white balance. They do all sorts. Windows things. update messes with them. Every like... single Windows <laughs> update messes it up. But the, um, the uh, Elgato one uh, saves uh, the settings directly onto the camera itself. So meaning oh. if it unplugs or if you even take it somewhere else and plug it in, it remembers, which I think is really cool. So oh, that's really good. good. I think sound is one of those things where it sounds boring if you don't know, if you don't stream yourself or something. But once you stream, you're like, you're oh like, my God, new sound Whoa. things. No. <laughs> it's like a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> so uh. Um, oh, we had a super chat from uh, Taylor Isley that says, uh, absolutely delighted to catch you all in another live stream, not to mention tavern time. Hey. Too early for alcohol, but a nice cuppa with some well. toast for them. Oh, you yes. know, it's five o'clock. So it's, mm. I can guarantee it's, well, it's after four o'clock here. So. <laughs> Taylor, However, I am kind of jealous of your toast, Taylor. So enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, Taylor sure. Isley, are you related to Moss Isley from Star Wars fame? <laughs> Is that what you didn't get that joke, do you? <laughs> I also get the joke, it's the cantina. Oh, you do get it. I don't know what it means. I thought you didn't like Star Wars. Or you hadn't I don't like Star Wars, but oh. I played Lego Star Wars when I was younger and love you, Lego ah, Star Wars. There we go. So that's where most of my knowledge comes from. <laughs> Even but you were saying you related to Star Wars. Then? <laughs> Even if someone didn't know Star Wars, you would absor uh, like absorb it through osmosis. Yeah, yeah exactly. True, yeah. The fact that you said you related to the Moss Eisley makes it sound like the Moss Eisley is just like a giant being that has allowed people to like party within it for aeons. It's a little bit ugh, unnerving. <laughs> if I was a giant a uh, being, I'd let pa people party within me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then snap your <laughs> mouth shut at the last moment. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, we've got some more super chats. We've got one from Dave Darking that says, cannot stay long, unfortunately, so we'll get around in early. Cheers. 
uh, Slauncher. 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 and be well all. Oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you, Dave. Slauncher, Slauncher, Dave. Thank you. Slauncher. And we've got a new member, Tears of the Bi Karate Geek. I mean, like, <laughs> how many more amazing things can Best you fit in a name? name? <laughs> Hi, Welcome bye. to the Mafia. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> And then we got one from, um, ooh, let me go up, Corvus Albright. This is, hi all, long time subscriber, first time commenter. In honor of, hap in honor, in <laughs> honor of Happy Hour Tavern Time, what are your thoughts on Jaeger Bombs? I have, I have strong thoughts on Jaeger Bombs. Thank you so much for the super chat, mm. Corvus. But I have, so one of my best friends in the entire world, uh, her name's Kirsty, uh, she's obsessed with Jaeger Bombs <laughs> to the point that every time we go out, a tray of Jaeger bombs will just appear out of nowhere. Icon. Now, I am a sneaky drunk in that when I get to a certain level, I I, I know when to stop drinking. I don't like to be too I don't like to be too drunk. I don't mm -hmm. like it. Like so when those trays start to come out, I'm sorry, but I I give them to other people to do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you're the one like, who looks like the good hostess, like passing them along, and you're like, oh no, there's not one left for oh, me. That's that a shame. Hundred <laughs> percent. I have used that. And first, if there, if no one falls for that, I have to be like, you have to do it. It's your it's your yeah. duty. You, as 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 the husband, you have to do my shot. And he's like, <sighs> you said in sickness and in health, and uh -huh. this is sick. So you're gonna do it. Actually, yeah. I think you're I don't fine. actually mind Jaeger bombs, but there get there comes a certain. It depends what stage of the night they appear. Yeah. You know? I don't think I'd go up and buy my own Jaeger bombs, but if no. they're handed to me, I will drink them without a second thought. Mm. Yum, yeah, yum, that yum. sounds like you. <laughs> I have never had a Jaeger bomb in my entire life because I am that middle class. So, wow. uh, next time That's we like... actually get to go to an event together, maybe EGX, uh -huh. when we inevitably go out for drinks afterwards, I think I should get a Jaeger bomb. Yeah, that maybe... sounds like something we need to rectify. Yeah. Christmas party 2025. <laughs> yeah, well, if this... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay. no, don't worry. I actively banned E for an EM from looking at the news because it stressed me out so much. Yeah. I don't want either of you to be stressed as I am, so we can't do it anymore. <laughs> sure. Um, and then we've got a super chat from Daniel Carlson that hey. says, "Just wanted to say thanks again for these streams and everything else you've done in the last year to help us all stay sane. You're all lifesavers." Yeah. Who said we're sane at this point, <laughs> Daniel? Yeah, no. I don't think I've but ever been. <laughs> but thank you so much anything that we can do to help and you know like these these three i can't speak with you but they definitely saved my life as well so because yeah. it's just good to stay connected to everyone and it's uh, it's been a lot of fun so absolutely yeah. for sure um and we have a new member adam weatherall high five <laughs> <laughs> uh, hang on let me scroll let me scroll okay yeah okay cool and then we've got two more super chats which i'm gonna Ooh. read out super quickly one from michael shipman that says not sure if it's been asked, but are there any plans for a version of Happy Hour Tub and Time once lockdowns have ended? An interesting um, question. An I interesting mean, I'm question. up for doing it, uh, you know, on and off for yeah. whenever. Yeah, me it's, too. It's good fun. I get paid to have a drink. <laughs> so. For sure. I think once we're all allowed back in the office together, like on mm. the sofa, it'd be fun to do a Happy Hour Tub and Time oh when we're God. in the same yeah. space. That would be so cool, but also yeah. really weird. It would be weird. Yeah. We should celebrate it, like, yeah. for sure. I like I like the idea of combining it with like a, a taste testing thing because then we can drink and also taste test. Yeah, yes, that's good. definitely. Oh yeah. my gosh, but what do we taste test? Because we, we're going like... to do cheese before then. So we mm. can we do are. Cheese. I feel like bar snacks. We should make it Happy Hour Tavern Time themed. Or like, I don't know. It's too. You, okay, we can't do drunk foods because that would require like a million different deliveries. But something yeah. that's like maybe snacks from bar like snacks a, a different country from Indian around the world or yeah 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 or just cool. our in own individual favorite snacks mm. uh maybe Have our favorite and least favorite snacks or, that we have to oh, yeah. or bug oh. snacks no. Bug snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I went to um, Oaxaca's the other day, and they will give you for free a cricket salsa. Oh, interesting. So it's, it's a salsa made up of like pummeled uh, crickets and like chipotle and whatever, but it's really good. Is but they, not, they, like, they get bits and is it not crunchy? No, it's not crunchy. It's completely smooth. But it's like the, they're giving away for free because they want to normalize eating like you know certain types of bugs and stuff because. We're going to have to start doing it at some point because food scarcity in the world is a real thing. But I thought it was pretty did cool. Did you like it? Did, did it taste any different to anything? It was really good. It tasted kind of like, um, it was creamy because it had like a creamy kind of chipotle sauce in it. But it kind of tasted quite like, um, like smoky, which is okay. really good. I really liked it. We ate all of it. It was pretty good. Nice. Um, and then lastly, we've got a super chat from Lazy Jane. Oh. Yay! That says, a bonjour. Hope you all have a lovely <laughs> evening. Oh. A little butt. A little butt. And a, a little heart. peachy butt. Hey. Booty a little squad. 
Yeah. Squad, represent. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, man. I missed this. Yeah. I have, I like, it feels like we haven't all sat down and chatted with you all and with each other. Well, we do, we chat with each other all the time. Mm. But, like, just to just to chill and not, you know, be playing something at the same time. But exactly. Not have, like, a video game getting in the way. Ugh. Yeah. Video games. <laughs> Pretty sure there's going to be no jump scares at all for once. Oh, well. You no. say that. Mm. Yeah. That, guy, <laughs> that old guy that keeps walking in. I don't know. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't trust him. <laughs> oh my god! But is it what? So is is what is a Jaeger bomb? Is it like it's is it shot? How yeah. does it Jaeger, work? Yeah, it's a shot of Jaegermeister and then like topped up a little bit with some Red Bull. So like okay. sometimes you you just oh get the. Oh my god! Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's okay. It's all right. Like yeah, I just kind of like rocket fuel. Like a, it, it is. It gets the party it's started. It does. That's <laughs> But like so Jaeger bomb, like sometimes you'll get like the shots lined up and then you'll get like I've had bars where actually I've had bars where like a little bit of Red Bull is poured into glasses and then shots are balanced on top and you just knock them all over at the same oh time. And then you just pull. But they they are you're right, they're rocket fuel because like the fizz and everything means that like they hit like boom like that. Which is why Kirsty loves them so much, because like it's like if she feels because she's just just party central, so if she feels there's ever a lull. In the crack, she's like, right, it's Jaeger bomb time. Okay, <laughs> I think I've got. There we go. I've I've put a Jaeger bomb on the table in front of you, Zoe. So if you want to have Thank a Jaeger you. bomb, I'll, uh, I'll point, leave that there for a there second. But I'll, uh, I'll I'll have that later on. <laughs> it's a little Jaeger bomb for you. Wait, you. So if you if you had to do a shot of something, right? Like you, that's a challenge, and it's been put before you. What what shot would you choose to do? Uh, absinthe. Ooh. That's, Always that's wanted so to try on man for you, honestly. Like it's kind of golf, kind of like you know, like death. Kind of golf, kind of like it's green, so it's ghoulish. Feels a little bit cursed, just like yeah, a little bit cursed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about you two, Ian? Uh, oh god, I don't know. I've done absinthe on a stag do in Prague, and oh yeah, um, they did it the proper way, where they like they heat up. Um, like sugar and they pour it over some sugar first i can't remember i was hammered but uh yeah it's very right. strong it made shadows on the walls come alive while i yeah, was looking it's at like them. it's <laughs> slightly hallucinogenic isn't it yeah so yeah the like... real the real stuff is yeah i think yeah. didn't they say that it van gogh was shit faced on it when he cut his ear off i mean yeah. Yeah. probably yeah we've all got jaeger bombs now by the way <laughs> Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Aoife? What would you shot? Um, I used to be able to... It's kind of like that thing where... Because, you know, I know I've had my fair share of, like, drinking a lot. Uh, but <clears> I used to be able to drink um, tequila loads. And then you have that one night where you drink it a bit too much. And then you kinda, it kind of turns you on it. But um, recently, I think, if I had to choose something... And I don't really do shots very often. But I'd probably choose, like, a pickleback or something. Oh, sorry, um, what? A pickleback? <laughs> What the? Pickleback's is that pickle so juice great. in it? <laughs> a pickleback is um, is uh, whiskey uh, with a p- pickle juice chaser. Aoife. Yeah. It sounds bad. Aoife. It, it is bad. sounds bad, but I promise you, it's actually quite nice. This is what I'll... we should do on the next Happy Hour Tavern Time when yeah. we're in the same room. We should each do a sh- we should all have three yeah. shots and we should do each one of these. Okay. Yes, <laughs> we all choose a shot to do. Oh my yeah. gosh. So, but like, yeah, so it's... Like I like whiskey anyway, but pickle juice actually is. I I feel like you might like it, Zoe. I Honestly, like, like when might. I have fish and chips, I the words drown it have never been so true. <laughs> like I have enough vinegar that the fish yeah. is once again swimming in the ocean. Like so, I, maybe I should like it because I love of, vinegar. Yeah, it's kind of like you know when someone tells you, "Oh, dip your chips in McFlurry," and you're like, "What are you talking about?" But it just is nice, like mm-hmm. fat. Facts mm-hmm. are fact. Like the salt and the sh- and the sweet, just it's nice. Yeah. I have a jar of pickles in the fridge right now, and I can't tell you how much I want one just for the mention of pickle juice. <laughs> pickle juice. Pickle yeah. juice. Oh, I don't think I'd like that one. Chat is agreeing with me. Everyone says pickle bags are nice. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Um, we've got some more super chats. So I'm going to read out super quick. One from Brock Sisson that says, "Stuck in a blackout with a nervous dog. Okay, so can." 
cake, oh, queso. I want cheese. This is it. The drunk food is obviously <laughs> coming up. I want queso and tacos. Novice Doggo, Casey, can I get some oh. virtual pets for him? I'll yes. try and get a, per, yes. a, a, per, a virtual pet on the uh, desk I'm, I'm as well. I'm petting my camera. I'm petting P my camera. Oh. oh, some virtual pets like that. Oh, sorry. I thought yeah. he meant an actual <laughs> virtual pet. I'm actual virtual pet. No. Yeah, PNG cat. Can you get, oh, I thought you were going to try and get Titch up. Oh, we missed, we missed, we missed a, a treat. Oh, Corvus Albright is a new member. Did we high five oh, Corvus? No, I didn't see that. High five. High five. Meow. Meow. And we also have a trio of new super chats uh, that we might have missed saying, mm -hmm. uh, the first one is uh, from Jonathan Hurst that says, I can't do Jaeger bombs anymore after my brother-in-law's bachelor party when I had 18 in one what? night. Ugh. That's hardcore. <laughs> Still standing up. I'm assuming you weren't by the end of it. Did you get your stomach pumped after that? Was 18 drinks of anything is too much. Like, yeah, hello, Jaeger bombs. But I guess the Red Bull and it would keep you yeah, that's motoring true. along. Yeah. Like, you may not be, like, it's literally like, you know, the, the lights are on, but no one's home. Not like. waving, but drowning. <laughs> um, and we had a super chat from Little Furnace that says, I hope you're having a great day, all. Your underrated game soundtrack. Your underrated game soundtrack recommendations. Cheers from the Chocolate Mines. Mm, underrated game soundtracks. So we've uh, got. <laughs> there's a little. We've got a virtual pet now, just poking oh, its head you. up over thanks the table. <laughs> underrated game soundtracks. Um, uh, the only thing I can think of are rated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think of like big AAA, so that they are actually. I really like the Far Cry 5 soundtrack. They did yeah. like these kind of like faux, creepy gospel songs, but they're all, instead of being mm. about like, you know, Christianity oh, yeah. and Jesus, they're about Joseph Seed and the the um, uh, the yeah. collapse, as it's called cool. and stuff. That's pretty good. And I also yeah. really like, um, there's a game called Get Even, which had a really, like, a, some really weird songs on the soundtrack, which I quite liked as well. Oh, nice. Weird pop songs. Yeah, all I, all I can think of is like, Hades, mm -hmm. Journey. Um, Persona Five, like yeah. those are all my favorites, and the ones that I listen to all the time. Yeah, I was, Firewatch, I, Firewatch is pretty good actually. Oh, Firewatch is great. Yeah, I I always liked. So like I when I when I'm working, I listen to the Fable soundtracks because mm. like the chill ones are really good to work to. But I loved how in Bioshock Infinite they take modern songs and because of like the tears in the game, they put them into like 1910 yeah. style music, and it's really that. cool. Like that, if you haven't listened to them, go and listen to them because they're just oh. like. I think at one What's point the Elizabeth Hums. That one that, that they do. Oh the shit! I can't remember. Head. But yeah, when they come floating along and they're just singing mm. it next to you. I can't so remember. Good. But um, at one point Elizabeth is humming. Girls don't want to have. Girls just want to have fun. But like in yeah. the oh, Columbia yeah. style, like it's really cool. Um, I'm gonna look up what that thing yeah. is. Um, while you do that, uh, Taylor Isley has done another super chat that says, uh, "When I told people how to spell my name, I used to refer to that famous spaceport." Uh, but it would always <laughs> require more explanation. Really? Oh. I would have thought that would have that would have like finished the, the conversation. But I suppose not everyone is. Uh, yeah. is yeah. okay with That's quite Star cool. Um, um, yeah. They were singing "God Only Knows." Uh, That's it. God only knows how. Yeah. Oh. oh my god! And we've just got a new member, Massive Kitten. They saw the pet on hey, the screen, Ian. We massive saw Kitten. It. High five. High five. Yeah. Yeah. Did we do the super chat I from Pietro P, by the way? It no, says, Red not, Bull, no, don't mix with alcohol. Humans. Yake bombs, anyone? You'll look good. <laughs> Gorgeous as always. Always look forward to happy hour tavern time. Thanks for oh, super chat, Pietro oh, P. Uh, a retro future just did a quick one saying, for the Jaeger fun. <laughs> well, we, got, we bought around, you see. They're all on the table now. We did. The cat's trying <laughs> oh, to drink some. I would like to give a massive thank you um, to everyone who has followed us on Instagram because we finally made it to 6,000 followers. Yay! Yay! It's been a little pet project for the last year, so I'm thrilled that we've got that far. And yeah. if you haven't followed it, this is my excuse to tell you to follow it. Um, <laughs> at Team Eurogamer, right at the top, you can follow us on Instagram for updates about what we're doing from day to day, whether it's streams, yeah. videos, behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. It's a good place. A good Absolutely. Place. Zoe's been working hard on building that that up, and we are like so excited to do more stuff with it now because exactly. yeah, because we can and it's fun. Once we um, start like actually being together in the office, it's going to be a lot easier to do like you know stories and stuff stories. because otherwise yeah. you just get stories of my bedroom where I work most days. So. Mm. Unless yeah. you want to see B bed covers, then uh, B maybe not the best. B thing. bed covers. B bed I covers. I kind of do. Yeah. Covers. Okay. Well. You can't because they've got a coffee stain on them, oh. so you can't <laughs> oh, see them. Cruel. <laughs> um, oh, we've got a super chat from Kristen Sudman that says, the most underrated game soundtrack is, in fact, 
bug snacks. Yes. Oh god. Oh god. How could I forget Ian bug has snacks? Said this before, actually, yeah. Ian said that he loves his own drugs. Kind of bug yeah. and kind of snack. You can fit them in a sack. Something, something you will Are see. You that up, or is that actually it's the bug words? snacks. It's, a, it's around that. It was seventy-five percent correct. That. I think. It's just you know, like yeah, just just seventy-five percent. Sort of Around, around that area, including some of those words. <laughs> yeah. um, we had a super chat from Taru that says, "Hi, your videos have been great. Have been a great enjoyment. Oh, the Phasmo videos have been my favorite. Have the developers ever gotten in contact with you to create a new haunting by a certain <laughs> gremlin? Oh my! Oh my that would be like the greatest like honor, I think. Ever. Have we ever actually spoken to the Phasmo devs? I don't think. No, I, never. I, I think did. it's just one person. Oh, you did. I tried to get in contact with uh. them. They're probably very busy. But they didn't get back to me. Oh. Yeah, they probably are very busy. I think there's only like two or three people on the team, so very much like all hands. On I deck. would yeah. lose it if there. If imagine if we got a Gramlian. <laughs> Honestly, just game. like an Easter egg would send us anything it would be great. whatsoever. Mm. Because like I always like I'm kind of amazed at how detailed all of their textures are. It wouldn't mm -hmm. be hard to put like a little newspaper clipping or like a yeah. little picture <laughs> more That's all we are. There, you know? <laughs> or like an <laughs> open locker door with two paint cans in it. Just something. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, like a tiny That's Easter egg. <laughs> That's so subtle. It would be so good. Oh my god. Right. Petition starts right now. If, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if the Hitman series can have some Oxbox uh, Easter eggs, then Absolutely. Phasmo can have some Team EG Easter eggs. Absolutely. Yeah. IO Interactive guys love you, though, Ian. Like, they've messaged yeah. you before. That, yeah, they did actually for the um, making the uh, the levels for the, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the custom the level contract. things. That was really yeah. cool. Use them yeah. to reach out to Phasmophobia. Look, whether it's by two <laughs> degrees or a hundred, we will get to Phasmophobia. Yeah. We'll get yeah. our Easter egg. Yeah. We'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've got a super chat from Jammer that says, been a member for a while and hey. just wanted to say how much I appreciate the effort you put into engaging with the community. Oh. Keep up the good work and oh, keep being amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yay, well, I mean, when our com community is this nice, like, mm -hmm. it's just how could we not, you know? Mm. Yeah, That's Absolutely. Cool. Um, we had a super chat from Cheerful Spider that says, uh, this is my vote for Eurogamer to try Witchity Grubs. Supposedly, they're absolutely delicious. Think you could line that up, Ian? Uh, I... Can I? Let's find out. Bye. <laughs> mm. I, I don't know about grubs. I, I, I could eat... What could I eat? I could eat the dry ones, but I don't... Like, the 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 video of... Is it... Is it Bear Grylls? Bear Grylls. I know the one you're talking yeah. about. And, uh, no, even thinking about that, that's turning my stomach. Like, I don't think I can do that. I love weird, uh, not weird food. I love food that I don't normally get access to. So, like, I will always order the weirdest thing on a menu, like at yeah. a restaurant. So, I would actually love to try witch tea grubs. Like, I want to okay. try, I want to try thick chicken feet and thousand year old egg, and I want to try. Um, brain because oh. I've seen some people like having that, and I want to try like oh, there's a brain's delicacy. Brain's really gritty, I think. Yeah, there's a delicacy where, like, I think it's in China. There's a big fish that they bake, and then the eye is like a on like, it's like a special treat if you get to eat it. And I want to try yeah. that. So I'd absolutely have witch tea grubs for yeah. sure. Yeah, yakitori in Japan is like there's a lot of like chicken anuses, yes. and like, that. like, and it's just bar snacks. Like, Anus. It's completely. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I can. Yeah, I reckon I could buy some witch tea grubs off the internet. Yeah, we can do it. And you can get sort of vinegar crickets and stuff as well. Yeah. I do that. For sure. I ate like, a load of bugs for a KOD in his kitchen once, which... Oh, right God. <laughs> they right. were... Oh, we've got another uh, member, K anything fangirl. High Yay, five. High five. You and me, oh. friend, we're going to have a lot in common. I fucking love K-pop. <laughs> um, uh, oh, we got... Oh, sorry, go ahead, Aoife. No, no, you go ahead. You go ahead. I was going to read the super chat. Yep, go for it. Cool. Uh, we got one from Snow White Nightshade who says, First live Tavern Time, kicking Hail. back with a rum punch. Excellent yeah. choice. Oh, nice. Gosh, I want a rum punch. That sounds amazing. Really, really good. Thanks so much for all you do. You've been such an amazing help. Love to you all. Thanks, Snow White. Thank you. Yeah, I was rum just going to um, do this. I uh, know, rum punch mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> I was just going to do the super chat from uh, Gillen Borum that says, Ian, master of CGI, computer generated <laughs> inebriation. Yes. <laughs> I was a, every time I look at the feed, there's something more on the a little, screen. Yeah, we've got a little Labrador <laughs> pet now. I love it. <laughs> he's so well behaved, don't you think? He stays oh, perfect. Still. Yeah, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Now we've got Today, pig, um, pygmy elephant now as well. 
Today I got sent a video of Toto getting his head stuck in a glass, and oh, that, that, I've shared it with everyone pretty much now. <laughs> that video is hilarious. <laughs> it's so good. I wish there was a way I could put it in chat, but it's... Oh my god, fucking hell. What? You are right? Oh, you're you okay? Phone, someone just started to ring me. <laughs> Oh oh my should God. ring? What the heck? Who does <laughs> that? Did some do not disturb? Come on! Rude. iPhone hasn't made a sound since I think like 2010. I just yeah. I don't I don't like it when my my phone makes noises. <laughs> I like vibration though. Vibration is like that's fine, but yeah, yeah. no like blips or anything. Every now and again, when I have my headphones on, it makes the blip noise when I get a WhatsApp. And the first time that happened, I was like, <laughs> "What? The, how dare you? What the oh, fuck is who that? Who gave you the right? Exactly. <laughs> who?" Um, okay, I'm gonna. We've got a few more super chats, so I'm gonna uh, catch up real quick. Uh, Elaine says, "Aoife is right. I hate, hate, hate pickles, but I tried a pickle back and loved it. Yeah, oh, I thought that makes That's me feel good. sick." Oh. Um, uh, Lloyd Maeve says, "Happy Ooh. booze day, lovely humans. Yay. Happy booze day to you. Happy booze day." Um, uh, oh, and yeah, uh, if you missed it at all, um, uh, we had uh, Pride Week uh, on the Eurogamer site recently, and I believe, although I haven't haven't checked up. Uh, recently, but I believe Lloyd may have had an article this year again on there. So get, a, get let's get a link to that. In Do the a chat. reading. Uh, Go check that out. Go check that yeah. out. I um, did read. It. I did read it. It was about. Uh, it was about. Uh, oh, sorry, no, Lady, I mean Lady the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was about uh, Lady Dimitrescu and and how like she was uh, just indicative of like. Uh, queer culture just loving her because mm -hmm. she caters to you know just outside of the norm when it comes to like because we're all so used to seeing things just for the cis white male gaze yeah. um it's big it was like awesome. it was such a good article it's big kink belongs at pride energy with lady d yes. like it's just exactly that kind of vibe i she, like i once someone in my friendship group said that lady d was overrated and i was like okay that's cute but uh <laughs> the queers beg to differ like yeah. she's absolutely not but yeah, that's such a good article. It is amazing. I think if you if you say she's overrated, you're kind of missing the point. You're literally missing bit. the point. It, it's it not just... that it's it's about more than just her. It's about yeah. finally seeing something different, you know, and something different being celebrated. I think. Yeah. I think the thing is that some people see Lady D um, as like a villain, and it's like she's not like you said. She's not just a villain. Like she's an older presenting tall woman like who just doesn't give a shit about no offense in men and like she just knows what she wants and she's evil yeah. and like that's a massive deal to be like in the video game kind of sphere to have Found someone look so unusual oh, amazing yeah. okay. it's, the, she's great. It's, the, it's all about the power balance with her right like mm -hmm. she's she's yeah older presenting she's sexy she's yes. like awesome she does not give a fuck what you think of her like <laughs> and she's super just... matriarchal as well she really loves her daughters so like yeah. i just think she's amazing i love yeah. lady d amazing um, um oh yeah so um a few more super chats uh roswell walton says uh will we get to see well, we still get to see Titch and Kitty once everyone is back in the studio, though. I love seeing uh, Ian's <laughs> void Kitty and seeing the handsome, the handsome Kitty. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, mm. I think once we're back in the studio, we're certainly going to keep streaming from our uh, respective uh, homes as well, because... Mm. Well, it's it's just sometimes it's easier. Yeah. Not all of us live like close to the office. It takes me a long time to get to the office, so once once yeah. a week is probably as much as I can deal with. So, yeah, uh, yeah. It's also just like we've been doing this for a year now. We I like to think we've smoothed out the kinks. Yes. I mean, let them go at Pride, but you know, like in the streams, <laughs> <laughs> we've done it pretty well. So yeah. I, it will be similar to kind of like kind of just well, stream absolutely. in the office. Yeah, I think it'll be nice I, I... to stream together. Yeah, I love being able to stream, you know, with you guys, but from home, because yeah. it's like, I think we always wanted to do it, but we never had had the time to set it up when we were constantly coming into the office. And so I guess if you want to look at it that way, that's a little silver lining of the last year and a bit is that it kind of forced our hand into getting the whole streaming thing down. Uh, yeah. Which I think we, we, yeah, as you say, Zoe, we pretty much nailed it now, so. Pretty much nailed it. Um, there was an elephant in the room very briefly <laughs> earlier on. I think it's still there. No, it's, thanks, the Ian. elephant's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> the elephant's gone. in the room. <laughs> oh, my God. Incredible. Okay. I think, I think we're caught up. No, we're not. No, we're not. They keep coming okay. in. <laughs> have, we, have we read out Caroline Miller's super chat? No. Okay, just wanted to share that I earned my doctorate degree earlier this month. Hey. Yay! I wanted to thank you lovely lot for making me laugh and keeping me company on late night studying. Thanks, Caroline. Our Yay. pleasure. Yeah. And well did you done. read out... Well yeah, that's incredible. Did you read out Lloyd Maeve's super chat? Uh, uh, yeah. not, not the most recent 
Uh, okay, it says tag yourself. The Timothy uh, oh, I hate the Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> just gets me. That guy, Wes Anderson, Tilda Swinton, Bill Murray outfit meme. We've actually already done this in Slack. Yeah, we have. So, uh, I love that meme. I just do. I, mean, I, I think don't think great. there's any prizes for guessing who's Bill Murray. Ian, of course, is Bill Murray. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> and Eva's obviously Tilda. Uh -huh. Like, no delay. Um, I just like it. It's just mm. yeah. So and nice. I'm taking Timothy because uh, he's wearing he's wearing a semblance of black, which I obviously identify <laughs> yeah. with. Um, and we've got one from Love Unit that says, "Happy Friday!" On my last super chat, I was celebrating going out of Melbourne's fourth lo lockdown, but now I'm back into our fifth. <laughs> Celebrated too soon, I reckon. Anyway, thoughts on how the street steam? Oh, I, every time I say this, the steam deck, not the stream deck that we all <laughs> have on our desks, very uh, will affect the switch. Um, I don't think it will. No, I don't neither. think it will. Um, the, th the thing is, like the the Switch is is like for me, it's a Nintendo machine. It's an indie machine. So like, I think with this with the Steam Deck kind of dealing with PC games, I really don't think they're gonna conflict like at all. To be honest. Yeah, and mm -hmm. also, uh, I I haven't really caught up a lot on the Steam Deck. It's, it's hard, hard, right? So <laughs> but it's really big. It's kind of unwieldy, and I'm not sure I like the whole. I think. If I want to play PC games, I kind of want to be sat at a PC. Yeah, I, it it kind of like it's also three hundred and fifty dollars, which is like a little bit too expensive for me. Like if it was kind of two nine nine, maybe two fifty, I could like justify getting it. But mm. I think the price point is going to kind of discourage kind of more casual gamers a little bit as well. I think so. Yeah, I don't sure. know. I think I think. For me, handheld Nintendo kind of just go, and uh, indies, as you say, some indies are perfect as well. But yeah, indies. They, goes, they go hand in hand, you know? And yeah. I don't, when I want to play like hardcore, like PC games, I kind of want to be sat, set up to play them on a PC. But mm -hmm. I mean, I, you know, I'm open to be <clears throat> proven wrong on that for sure. Yeah, definitely. I think the thing is, the Switch has sold so well and it's got such a dedicated fan base, like already established. I mean, I think the thing with the Steam Deck is that it's going to have to try and like, like grab some of that fan base and take it back to themselves because it's largely the fact that I think the the Switch was so successful is because we hadn't had a handheld for a very long time before that came out and now the Switch feels like it's kind of cornered that market so I think the Steam Deck will have to do something that really engages people to order to like you know sell as many units as they wanted to massively massively mm -hmm. yeah yeah um we had a super chat from well, we've had quite a few uh Ty C uh, which is just a little exclamation mark oh, yeah. thank you, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and we had a super chat from uh, Martin uh, Stunenberg, uh, Martin Sutton Stunenberg, which doesn't say anything, but thank you all. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, Sarah Taylor says, hey, y'all, lovely to catch you on a live stream for a change. Watching with a cheese and onion lager. <laughs> it's Ooh. a thing. A cheese and Hope onion lager? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, EGX, maybe everything crossed. See you soon. Well, well, hopefully. I mean, that's still a few months off. We just can't tell what's going on with the UK right now, but we'll just have to play it uh, by ear, I guess. Absolutely. You can have a cheese and onion lager. I've had an on uh, not an onion. I've had a garlic lager, which wasn't yeah. completely yeah. disgusting. It that's was high praise indeed, Aoife. High it praise indeed. It was not completely disgusting. <laughs> it did not make me vomit out of my mouth. So <laughs> there's <laughs> that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, uh, Sarah. I hope that you're enjoying it. Maybe yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have more than one cheese and onion lager. Like one after the other. Maybe mm. a palate cleanser in between. Yeah, I don't know. Perhaps. Something like that. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, um, we've got some more super chats, I think. Uh, I'm just going to do some scrolling. We got one from uh, Sarah Taylor that says, Hey y'all, lovely to catch you on a live stream for a change. Oh no, I just read that one out loud, didn't you? Sorry. Um, one from Kristen Sudman that says, As a queer cis woman married to a straight cis man who struggled with feeling queer enough, Team EG's queer visibility is life-giving. Oh, oh we, uh, I, I feel that, Kristen. Absolutely. Absolutely. I do. You know, like, I think... I Go yeah, ahead. no, Eva. I think you and I have the same thing to say about this, to be honest. Absolutely. As by women that are in long-term relationships with men, yeah, sometimes you can feel like you know you're not you're not queer enough. Um, but no, that's that's it's not. You know, absolutely, you're always queer enough. And just because you're in a, a relationship with some, you know, in an ER, I guess, like appearing to be heteronormative it does not discount your experiences and and how you feel and no like we not. always will be uh, affirming of the entire spectrum 
of uh, of queer experiences on this channel. So yeah, sure. You You're valid. Care. You're valid. Absolutely. Don't feel like you need to do anything else to be like you just become queer. You are queer just by virtue of being yourself. So Absolutely. don't worry about it. I think what like the what really messed me up when I first came out as bi and was like straight presenting is that there's this idea of like things you have to do to be queer or like understand to be queer and it's not true because you're just queer like it's mm -hmm. who you are it's not like it's not like a um special language you have to learn because you by virtue of being yourself are queer so yeah. don't worry I've about been, it i've been told i was too femme like so many oh, times you know fuck like, off. And yeah like, me too you know, just too too girly to to be queer and everything like that and it's like <laughs> Sorry, who 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 appointed you? The, Literally, the, like who made that rule? Yeah. Like, gal, that's not true yeah. at all. Um, sure. I know, okay. ridiculous. Um, we got one from Sonia Brennan that says it's technically still my birthday until I go to sleep. So can I get a birthday shout out? Love you yeah, guys. Yeah, you can. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, birthday Sonia! Sonia's birthday. Absolutely. Yeah. There you go. You got a birthday song as well. That's Beautiful. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, uh, we had a super chat from a uh, random girl who has a Tifa Lockhart avatar, I believe. And, Ooh. Uh, uh, my kitten says hi. Hey, oh, hi, kitty. Oh, yes, it's hey. Happy Earth Tavern oh. time. I adopted him just a few days ago, and his name is Pasha. Oh. That's adorable. Oh. Yes. Pasha. Gosh, so cute. I've had a very stressful week because uh, Kitty's finally gone outside again uh, since we've moved into our new house and he's so happy, but it was uh, very scary as a cat owner to just be like, okay, I trust you to not do anything stupid. Off you and go. He hasn't, he's been fine. Oh, but yes, but no. I, had a, I had a back garden adventure today. Did you? Oh yeah, yes. you did. What happened? Well, Ian? This, is, this is one I haven't told you about. I've had multiple back garden adventures oh today. I was outside doing some exercises today, and um, I looked on the grass, and I was like, "What's that on the grass?" And it was like, "There's just a frog on the grass, just stock still on the grass, like in Doing the boiling thing. hot sun." I was like, "That Aww. can't be good for a frog." So I got a, like some water, like a, uh, and I like dampened it down a bit, and it didn't move at all. I was like, oh, is this frog dead? And, like I prodded it and it didn't move. I was like, oh. So I picked it up and it was breathing like really gently. Oh, So okay. like I, I put it in uh, the bush, like in the shade at the back of the garden and left like a little bowl of water by it. And oh. uh, when I came back, it had gone. So hopefully it had cooled down and trotted off and it hadn't been eaten by like a fox. Oh. Yeah, I don't, Fox is an nocturnal, so you'd hope. Yeah, not. oh, that's but true. Yeah, yeah. No. I think, I think it, I think it wandered off, but yeah. Good, hopefully. So. Frog I protector had, Ian Hickton. Yeah. I had to save a, a female stag beetle from Kitty the other day. I, oh. I've oh never, I'd, I'd never ever seen stag beetles. Um, and then over the last, I think like two weeks, I've seen like three, and Ooh. they're they're in, like they're really cool, but they're a little bit scary. But um, yeah. How do you uh, how do you sex a uh, a stag beetle? Well, the, the males have those huge kind of antler oh. right. the, the the ladies like they're they're still massive so you can like they're the biggest beetles i've ever seen but they're they don't have the the, the huge pincers they just have oh. little ones but apparently uh, stag beetles spend up to seven years underground oh as, my like, God. Uh, as a pupae and then a summer uh a life. It's just, <laughs> it's just like things where you're like, nature, are you sure about this? Yeah. Like, are you okay? <laughs> Doesn't really seem so, to make yeah. a lot of sense. Like, Is that worthwhile? Yeah. Well, you know. yeah. <laughs> Very emo creation, definitely, mm. for sure. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Oh my God. I live for one summer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we've got a super chat from LaCroix Boy Marks that says, Ian, tell us about the cow. Oh, the cow, Lisa, the cow. Yeah, we. It was. It was a really nice weather a couple of nights ago, so I went for a walk. <laughs> and, <laughs> I know, I can see it. Oh my god! <laughs> I went for a walk in a nearby field, and it was full of cows, and uh, they just like were roaming free, and they were right on the path. So I, I got in right close and had a selfie by Lisa, the cow. Yeah. I was very happy. She was very. That's friendly. adorable. So cute. that's very cute. Cows are like. Um kind of terrifying i always forget how massive they are and then i see one i'm like oh fuck like you could genuinely kill me if you wanted to they are but they're so gentle yeah, and they're, they're really curious gentle. anytime i've like been near cows in the wild i'm kind of mm. like you're kind of cute and that makes me really sad like they're, they're, <laughs> they come up and they're like 
Ooh, what is this? What are you doing? What are What's you going doing? on here? Yeah. They've got these yeah. amazing gold. massive eyes. Like their they eyes do. are beautiful. They have lovely eyelashes. Uh, yeah. yeah, allegedly, and I'm not 100% sure this is true, so don't go testing it in real life, but I think horses kick with their back legs and cows kick with their front legs, maybe? Oh, okay. So really? don't, it's like walk around the front of a cow, front horse, but the back of a cow? Yeah. That could back be wrong, cow. though, so if you get kicked in the head by a cow, don't blame don't, me. Do not blame me in Higton. Although I don't <laughs> think I've ever seen a cow kick. Mm. I've seen cows do happy like jumps when they yeah. like run out on the grass after yeah. winter and stuff after being inside for ages, but that's about yeah. it. I've got the thing. internet at my fingertips. I could Google it, but I can't be asked. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've got the entirety of human knowledge at my fingertips, yeah. but I just can't be bothered. Yeah, I'm so just gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, do it. gonna pretend just I know best. I just yeah. look at memes all the time. Yeah. <laughs> we had a, a super chat from uh, Santosh Boji that says, uh, Hi, friends. I, miss, I recently managed to get my hands on a PS5. Nice. Which games would you say are must plays for someone who missed the whole of last gen? You knew it was expensive. Tell me ooh, about it. Ooh. Yes, love you guys. Oh, ooh. thank you, Santosh. I know. Um, so, so this one, it's the PlayStation Plus collection, is that what, what yes. I was going to say. So mm -hmm. if you have good. PlayStation Plus, there's a whole like library of like 20 like top-notch PlayStation 4 titles that you can download for free on the PlayStation 5. Things yeah. like uh, The Last of Us, Neo, Bloodborne, like God of War, the Horizon Zero Dawn. God, those <laughs> ones as well. Like mm -hmm. if you if you got the PlayStation 5, get PlayStation Plus because you, you'll need it to go online anyway. But then super just generous. A, yeah, yeah, a huge library of um, uh, of these classic games, and you can just take your pick. Um, yeah, so. for sure. What, what else? I, God of War I, and Horizon Zero Dawn, definitely. I feel like God of War more so than Horizon Zero Dawn. But if we're talking exclusively PS5 titles, however, I mean, I have to, I have to say, Demon Souls. I think like that is that is the one game that like mm. genuinely looks next gen. Like mm -hmm. it, it just looks incredible. Totally. Um, Returnal, Returnal as well though, because um, that really. Uh, you know, makes use of like the dual sense mm. and the 3D audio and stuff as well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure. My brother wow. absolutely loves uh, Ratchet and Clank Rifts. Yeah, in time. it's really good. He, it's really good. Yeah, More and, people should play it. And it's he genuinely says great. It looks like insanely good, like just yeah. super beautiful. on Because it's PlayStation 5 like native game right it's yeah it's a native yeah, game yeah so it's, it's excellent that's pushing it's it's showing you some good next gen graphics that one. shows you like all the fur on like ratchet and rivet like it's just the the detail on it is amazing like it's yeah. just i love ratchet and clank i kind of played it because i played the old ones with my brother but and i was like i want to play the new one and i was like mm. wow this is just like a great game yeah <laughs> um, like playing a, a pixar movie or something my yeah said. exactly yeah. it really i want it to get more like attention because it is yeah. a really good game um, it it's funny as well in places like you don't expect something sort of going to happen. It's great. <laughs> um, we've got a super chat from Dragon Mage that says, Some money for the booze fund. Hey Spent a while this morning rescuing a hedgehog from our cattle <gasps> grid. Oh. Said Spiky has been returned to the wild. Good job, Dragon Good Mage. Work. I love yeah. hedgehogs. I've saved a few of as well. They're a bit yeah. silly, but mm. they just. They just want they just want somewhere to curl up and go to sleep. Yeah, they they do. I shoes. worry about them quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. I want to make sure they're okay. And we got a new member. Love Unit. Love Yay. Unit. Thank you, Love Unit. High five. Oh, yeah. Welcome. 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 Um, we also had a super chat from Deep Subs that says, Long time no see. Just finished Outer Wilds. Awesome oh. game. Agree with you there. Any chance of a late to the party playthrough? It's tricky in places. Ian may need some hand holding. It is really <laughs> tricky. Like, uh... It stresses though it's zoe it would so stress you out because it's that time loop where you mm. have to get placed within 22 minutes like i was literally gonna say girl i could not get past the first time loop because i was so stressed yeah. Yeah. once i knew that i had 20 minutes to because i hate so context i hate time challenges of any kind in games i like i will actively quit a game if i can't get past them because i'm just like this is too much stress so having yeah. the game literally divided into 20 minute segments like it's a shame because i know it's really good but i just can't get past it like i just absolutely hate that kind of stuff so. And the entire game is like that. Like you're, mm -hmm. you know, you're playing to uncover secrets, and then you know you reset, and you're, oh my gosh, just some of the channels where you like uh, the planets where you have to wait for, you know, t enough time to pass because like there's parts that you can only get to in a very specific window of that 22 minutes. It's, it's amazing. It's so yeah. so clever, but yeah, it's stressful. <laughs> it's stressful as all hell. Not happening. Oh, last night, by the way, I um, so I've been playing Resident Evil Remake. And I nice. finally got past the orphanage bit. 
Um, nice. Yeah, I was really that stealth section and that bit just absolutely screwed me over. I had to do about seven times before I finally did it. But not easy. Yeah. G- yeah, that, it gives me the same stress as time time bits. That to be mirror, honest, that mirror is so gross. Oh, There's oh, a yeah. um, there is an Outer Wilds VR mod that I keep meaning to try because I've played Outer Wilds flat version, but I think the feeling oh. of playing that in VR. Would be, yeah. would be especially when you're in the spaceship like flying around yeah. that's going to be quite a thing yeah i really um, liked um no man's sky in vr for the same kind of yeah. reason like taking off flying and landing and stuff makes you feel like you're properly on a big intergalactic mm. mission so yeah that definitely need to try amazing. that out yeah for yeah. sure um we've got a super chat from cheerful spider that says uh need to say cows kill about 20 people a year spiders seven i mean we kill way more cows than cows kill people so i think they're exactly. owed a few of us <laughs> yeah. Probably kill way more spiders as well. To be fair, yeah. yeah. I do try really hard not to kill spiders though, because I wanna, I, I, I wanna I make sure they're okay. You know, mm-hmm. like I don't want to kill them. But I've come up with it. There's an uneasy alliance in our kitchen at the moment with the with the spider that lives there because there, <laughs> there were a few too many ants, and I was like, no spider, I'll let you live here, but you don't scare me, and you eat these ants. And the spider was Pull like, your weight. We have an accord. So, <laughs> I just eyeball them every so often, but so far we're working well together. Good. I've had um, seagulls trying to come up with an accord with me because oh. I live in a place with a lot of seagulls and I have skylights in my kitchen. And they have, there is like, I think it's one specific seagull baby who has taken the habit of landing straight on my window and that oh. is not permitted. Oh. It's not allowed. That's so, a seagull um, baby. Gotta learn. Yeah, I know. I like wiggle the window around because it's like an awning one to get them off. But now it's got to the stage where it just eyeballs me and I'm like, I'm sorry. How <laughs> no. dare you learn that I'm not going to harm you? Just go away. I don't like it when they do that. So like our next door neighbor has four cats and uh, it's been a mission trying to get Kitty comfortable with that. Uh, mm. He's not quite there yet, but I feel really bad because two of them in particular just sit on the fence and eyeball him and I'm like, this is his garden. Excuse me yeah. very much. Yeah. So like... I- clap my hands i feel mean i don't want to be mean to him but i also want him to assert that this is his. Mm-hmm. like i don't want them to scare him so yeah, like sure. do that and they're like what what are you gonna do that's fucking no fucking mm, yeah i might not do anything but mm, no, are you, you. <laughs> well um so uh i spend a lot of time with rosie um oh, who is wills's cat and Rosie does this thing where, like, she she fucking loves window ledges. She is the most skittish cat I've ever met, but she loved window ledges and, like, going up high. So she'll, like, literally go out of the window and look at us from the other side of the window on the ledge when we're, like, yelling at her to come back in. And then as soon as she comes back in, she's back to, like, the nervous skittish kitten as she is. And we're like, you're, like, 80 feet above the ground. Why are you not scared of that? <laughs> Ian's added That's a man. seagull now to the... So oh, it's good, after your, it's after you. your chippy chips. Oh, no, get off of my chippy chips. <laughs> get off of my goddamn window. Not allowed. No, absolutely not. Um, we've got a super chat from Little Furnace that says, Have you guys heard of Genesis Noir? Thoughts? Seem like it would be a good lo-fi Genesis game to stream. Noir. That rings Why is that so familiar to me? Yeah, I feel like I have Genesis seen it. Genesis um, Noir. Is that the new one with... Um, uh, oh, it, lo- oh, it looks oh, really nice. I have not seen this before. This is not no. what I thought it was. No, me no, neither. I thought it was the anime kind of style. Cosmic one. Adventure. You know what you should play, though? That's reminded me of for no reason whatsoever. Um, Tangle Tower Ooh. is a very good game. And it is kind of chill because it's a detective game. It's a murder mystery. But oh. it's a really good... It's like you two just have to play it. It's really, really good. It's good um, You know you play games and you finish them and you're like really sad because there's literally no other game like that on the market. Mm. You're just like, guess I'm just going to wait for the devs to make another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll add that to my it's list. Really Tangle Tower. Yeah. It's on Switch as well, so oh, cool. nice. to play it. Yeah. Um, I've recently been thinking a lot about Obra Dinn because oh, I, I feel that. like a new game should be coming out from that guy soon. Mm. The guy whose name I remember. That I game was just perfection. It was so, so good. Yeah. I want more. More of that type of Lucas thing. Pope, more. that's it. Exactly. I'm like, what are you making? What are you <laughs> doing now? Because everything he's made has been amazing. Like Papers, Please as well was great. It's like, what are you I doing? I've interviewed him. He's lovely as well. Yeah. He's such, such a, a nice, like, obviously so insightful person. Um, yeah. And yeah, Oberdin was just like such a simple idea, but perfectly executed. I it love was... point and clicky kind of adventure things. And yeah. Just like, mm. more. It just had like, I, we won't see any spoilers about it on the stream because everyone should play it. But like, it has such a, it's paced so well. So like at a certain point of the game, 
a thing happens. And like from that moment on, you're just like, what the fuck is going on <laughs> Wait, here? Because this is not what I thought it was. It blows it, the whole thing wide open. <laughs> it really does. And like, you just play it. Like, it's a mm. great game if you haven't played Oberdin. It's, um, I competed it without a guide, but if you complete the whole thing, <laughs> like, it's just, it's so satisfying. Like, it's, it's really, really good. I guided play up it. hard. Um, according to Deep Subs, uh, Alexander Pope is making a game for the play date, which is that mm. little console with the wine. On the it, whiny I think, thing which looks quite cool. Yeah, okay. Um, Tim mm. the monkey has done a zipper chat saying it's too hot out, so I'm hiding from the sun, having a refreshing a blue Hawaii. Oh. 25 Ooh. mils hot, 25 mils white rum, 15 mils of blue curaco, 15 mils of fresh lime juice, 15 mils of fresh lemon juice, and 150 mils of pineapple juice. My gosh, that sounds refreshing. Yeah. Yeah, that's me with an umbrella in the top, you know. Oh, like, yeah. absolutely, please give that to me. Num, 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 Definitely num, a little so... bit of pickle juice on the side. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yummy. now you're talking. <laughs> like, this, this is, like, really kind of, like, I'm getting wanderlust, but for bars and EGX, because, like, at EGX, it was so fun to have a big day of work and then, like, just to go and try out new cocktails somewhere. And I want that to happen again this year. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but... I it's making cocktail. me want to go to bars again, yeah. too. Mm. Oh, They're so expensive, um, but I love them so much. Uh, here's here's a talking point for you, Zoe. Uh, Lloyd Maeve says they're playing uh, Disco Elysium for the first time and are in love. Disco Elysium is an amazing game. <laughs> it's so good. I went into it being like, this is a stupid game. Only pretentious people like it. It's bullshit. And I fucking love it. It's one of my favorite games now. It is so, so good. It's um, very good. Very, Tim very Kitsuragi, best boy, love him. Will protect him for all my life. I love him so so much. It's really good. D Disco Elysium is one of those games where like, it just the more you play it, the more like it's really clever, but also I don't think it's super. Um, it's it's not like really gatekeepery. So like, it's a really funny game mm. that is very thoughtful as well and very philosophical. Mm. Um, yeah. So I'd also recommend we should start a list of the games from recommending the stream. Also play Disco Elysium. It's great. Yes, it's really really definitely. good. And it's like there's there's a lot of game to it as well. Like it's not it's, it's massive. Not like, yeah, it's not the kind of thing that you'll just breeze through. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, not not, not at all. But it's well good. Um, we've got a super chat from <coughs> Brett Chell that says, "Just finished night shift. Hades plus EG live streams keep me going." Phasma hey. stream <laughs> reminded me to re-recommend "Free the Nipple" by Rachel Lark. Re <laughs> Zoe clarifying she's wearing a skin tone sweater. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I oh just my need God, to make it so clear, funny. that's all. I just, want, I just want to be very clear that I'm not naked right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. It is weird though when you find a top that's literally your exact skin tone because you're that yeah. pale. It's just like, oh, fuck's sake. Okay. God damn it, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Um, and we've got a super chat from Jammer that says, seeing as the stream has been taken over by animals, just thought I'd share the story of once discovering a that's bat no way to in talk my about car me. on the way to work. <laughs> 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 to this day, I have no idea how it got in. Bats are oh, so bat. cute. That is amazing. I love them. Yeah. They're really cute. They're um, really cool. Oh, where's it gone? Hold on. Sorry, I've got you a, bl a blue Hawaii here, Aoife. Oh, yay. Oh, thank you. There you go. Do you want one Ian, as well, what Zoe? is that? What is what, that one? Where? What is that on the ceiling? What that's is That's a sloth. <laughs> it's hanging out up top. Right. Oh. Do you want a blue Hawaii, uh, Zoe? Yeah, I'd love one, please. Thank okay. you. Can uh, you just get ask the bartender to get me one? Yeah. Please. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's it's very funny to me to think of blue Hawaii's being a thing in uh, in Hyrule. <laughs> like, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> it's a blue Hyrule. Oh god. A blue Hyrule. Oh my oh, god. Oh my god. There you go. yes, it's a blue absolutely. Hyrule for you. Well, it'd be rude if, if I, I can remember the. Hang on. I'm going to try and what? Google the name of that coastal town in. In what's the Zora? King? Yeah, what's the Zora Kingdom called? Uh, hang on, Ooh. can you hear my mechanical keyboard at all? Is it that loud? It's no, it's not too bad. Town. Uh, it's just called Zora's Domain. Apparently, oh, it's mm. just Zora's Domain. Okay. Boring. <laughs> name. Unbelievable. A blue Zora's Domain doesn't really have that. It doesn't, kind of mm, doesn't really have the same. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. EA122 says to Jamma77, so your car was a Batmobile? Hey -o! No. Nice. Excellent. Kind of was. <laughs> Absolutely <Big> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, so I have a uh, fact for you about the HBO's Last of Us TV show, by the way. Oh. So it's gone quiet, the actor, yeah, yeah, the actor who voiced Tommy in The Last of Us is going to be in it. Mm-hmm. But, but he's Tommy? not as Tommy. No, no. Not as he's, Tommy. He's uh, a yeah. He's he's been cast as Perry, a rebel in a quarantine zone. Huh. 
cool. he was cast as Tommy, and then he was recast as this guy Perry. So do you think like did too much time pass or something? Is he like yeah, or maybe like Perry's got a, a chunkier role, so he's going to play him instead. Mm. I tell some... you what. Sorry, go, go for it. Oh, I was just no, going to no, say, no. have they cast like um, no uh, Troy Baker and and, uh, and that in like any like, they would. little mm. cheeky roles? Maybe Nolan North is in so. loads of TV shows. Surely they could get him a little bit part as well because he quite was a sneaky character in the, yeah. the last of Bill us. has yeah. been cast though. That's cool. Bill and Frank have been cast. Oh, they got, oh, they got Bill in. Um, that's the gay couple, you know. Mm. It's his grouchy Joel's oh, yeah. grouchy buddy. Who's who's playing him? I love Bill. Oh, sorry. Um, it's Murray Bartlett is playing Frank, and Con O'Neill is playing Bill. Mm. Okay. I don't know who they are. But that's weird. Cool. I I kind of when they said they were doing a TV show, I kind of thought maybe they'd do a TV show set in the universe. But it seems like they're almost doing a, a TV show based on the first game okay. by the sounds of yeah. things. Yeah. I think the thing is that the game itself has a great story and kind of like tone to it. So why wouldn't you go straight in with for people who haven't played the game? Like it's a great story. Why wouldn't you just go straight in with it? I assume. Mm. Yeah. 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 Oh man. Yeah, it looks like exactly the same thing. Yeah. Oh cool, Merla Dandridge, who played Marlene as the leader of the Fireflies, will be reprising her role in the show. Oh, oh cool. So she's coming back as the same character, which nice. is cool. Yeah. yeah, Ashley but, Johnson needs to uh, have a little bit part somewhere. Yeah, she, she needs to have a cameo. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's only fair. I mean, like, it's kind of, it, I, you know, obviously it takes a long time to make these things, but mm. it would just be, I feel like it would be really, knowing how much, well, to change gears slightly, but knowing how much uh, Nathan Drake means to Nolan North, for example, I really mm. hope that, you know, he gets to be a part of the Uncharted film in I some capacity. Yeah. I swear, like, I could have dreamt it, but I'm sure there was a picture of him with Tom Holland He was on, on set. set. Yeah. He was uh, on set. Okay. Yeah. But, also, um, I, I still can't picture Tom Holland as Nathan Drake. No. I'm sure he's wonderful. I love Tom Holland, but I just can't picture him. Isn't I, he in Indiana Jones as well? No, but Phoebe Waller Bridges. <gasps> really? Which, okay, yeah. she's amazing. Though. Yeah, she's Tom like, Drake. I think she plays uh, Indy's sidekick in this film, amazing. which is going to be sweet. Um, amazing. Uh, Who's playing Indiana Jones, though? In uh, Harrison Ford. Oh, it's actually. It's going to be a, OAP sorry. Harrison Ford, yeah. Yeah, he's still playing Indiana Jones? Yeah. I tell you what, though, I still god. would. I'm sorry. Oh my god! Like, no, I'm sorry. No, I, not anymore. I, I'm I'm pretty straight, but like 70s Harrison Ford was the most beautiful. Yeah, he was very handsome. Holy yeah. moly! That, oh my just, god! That's, well, I'm straight, but I'm not that straight. <laughs> no one, no one is that. No one's that 70s Harrison Ford. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, for sure. Oh my god! I um mm. went back and watched Blade Runner quite recently, and in that, yeah. you could absolutely get it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just, just just beautiful i mean an asshole but beautiful yeah. oh yeah absolutely for sure mm -hmm. um and there's also something interesting that i came across which is that pirated version of resident evil village actually improves performance which uh, is deeply ironic what is the story on that because i saw the headline but i didn't read any further there's a DM, drm free v cracked version of resident mm. evil village um that's like outperforming it, essentially. Yeah. It's essentially even. From what I gather, and I only skim read the article, is that the DRM stuff is causing some kind of clash with the game, and that causes mm. it to stutter. And when you remove that DRM in the pirated version, uh, yeah. it doesn't stutter anymore. So, like, something to really do with good. the DRM bit is, like, yeah, stuttering it. Yeah, with ray tracing enabled, they could play be between 90 to 160 FPS on an RTX 3080, which is mm. really good. Yeah. It's just like, isn't it ironic when something like that happens? Like, it's just, it brings me back to um, how amazing, like, modders are and people who do yeah. stuff just to improve games. Obviously, pirated games are kind of a different thing, but it just, like, it's just staggering how someone having another eyes on it can take a look and improve stuff like that. Yeah. Which is really just, cool. Just for the love of it as well, you know? Yeah. Sure. An unimaginative username says that Indy 5 is set in 1969. Nice. nice. And they've been filming it in Glasgow recently. I don't know if you saw any of the, the photos from the streets, but they've turned the Glasgow streets into like um, 1960s America. Like, and it, it's all oh, done wow. up with, um, we've been to the moon kind of bunting and stuff oh, like God. that. Yeah, it looks it's pretty cool. How was it? How was he playing Indiana if it's in 1969? Yeah. Well, he was. Is it um, like a time jump? No, well, it, it, the originals was set in the 40s with the Nazis and stuff. Oh, so yeah, of course. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's fine. Still be, 
he'll still not be as old as he is now. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe they use the de-aging technology they used in The Irishman or yeah. something. I think yeah. when they um, erased Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull from existence, mm -hmm. it might have mm -hmm. messed with the timelines a little bit. We'll have to get the TVA involved, but I don't. Oh, yeah. I think we can burn that timeline yeah. straight down. Print it, just print it. It's gone. Yeah, just print it. It's not, it doesn't exist anymore. I do not see it. <laughs> I do not see it. <laughs> yeah. Not at all. Oh my god. Should we do some quizzes? Oh, yes. yes, we can do I some I believe quizzes. we've got a uh, Breath of the Wild themed one, haven't we? Yes, I have one here that says, everyone's personality matches a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild character. Ooh. Here's yours. That sounds like a good one. Nice. Who, would like, who would like to do it? Um, uh, I, I can go Ian. first, I guess, yeah, but um, it's pretty much I'm 100% I'm going to be Tingle. 100%. I would love for you to be Tingle. That would be amazing. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's okay. do this. Ian, what is your favorite weather? Thunderstorms, extreme cold, desert heat, rain, sunshine, or extreme heat? Inspector of a um, Ooh. I think it's it's going to have to be sunshine, just a nice warm day for me. Mm -hmm. Followed by thunderstorms would be my second choice. Yeah, that is a good one. Okay, what's your mission? To retrieve my memories, to find all the shrines, to save Hyrule, to collect all the best gear, to rescue the princess, to finish all the side quests, to get every last Korok seed, to kill every monster, or to find love. Well, that's oh. a lot. I've already found love, so that's all good. Oh. Um, oh. Uh, um, now, there's two. is a hard one because I do want to collect all the things. That is uh, what I, I would do. Because I do like mm -hmm. to loot. Yeah. But also... Um, I quite like to recover all my memories because many of them have gone over time. Oh no! <laughs> so I'll go with that one. Oh, by the way, okay. uh, Aoife, um, yeah. just before anyone asks, if you have a link to that, could you pop it in the chat I have. so people I've can already done. Oh, you've already done it. Okay, cool. You've awesome. Done it. Carry on then. Okay. Choose a weapon a boomerang, kind of a scimitar, a stick. Uh, what would you call. What would you call. This this weapon right here is that a sickle? Yeah, a sickle. Yeah, yeah. kind of like a sickle. It's what Lady D's daughters have? Oh, okay. oh yeah, bow, bow and arrow, sword. Yeah, uh, whatever the heck that is. Great, yeah, that's, that's a stone sword. Isn't type it? thing. Yeah, uh, the, a trident. Sail uh -huh. Sailor Moon's thing. Yeah, or, or a cuckoo. A, a cuckoo, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, okay. definitely. Gonna fight off the baddies with <laughs> the chicken. I'm not finishing that one. <laughs> And I knew what I was going to do. No, I knew it. God, I knew it. All right. What is the dumbest way you have died in a Zelda game? By falling, by my own bomb, by setting myself on fire, by a tornado of cuckoos, uh, by lightning, by the girl at the flower maze, by dropping stuff on myself, by improper clothing, or by trying to take down a guardian. That Probably the, the the cuckoo um, cloud cloud of cuckoos, definitely. Okay, what do you do in this scenario? So that's a big centaur type yeah. chap, isn't it? Yeah. So do you run away, stay calm? I've got this. Take him down, accept your inevitable death, <laughs> pray to Hylia, or question everything. <laughs> question everything. <laughs> my default state. Never. <laughs> How would you spend a day off? Horseback riding, solving puzzles, relaxing at the beach, shopping, reading, or hanging with friends? Hanging with friends. Yeah. Nice. Where would you choose to live? Gerudo Town, Hateno Village, Goron City, Hyrule Castle, Yiga Clan Hideout, Rito Village, Zora's Domain, the Great Fairy Fountain or the Korok Forest? There's I'd, I'd live with the sexy fish people. Oh, okay. Sexy fish people, yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Okay. What quality do you value most in an ally? Loyalty, honesty, kindness, humor, strength, intelligence, dependability, courage, or good looks? Oh, my. Uh, that's a lot yeah. of choices. I'll go, I'll go humor. Humor. Okay. Finally, what's your favorite Zelda game? A Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, A Link Between Worlds, or Breath of the Wild? 
That's a really difficult one, but I'm going to go for Link's Awakening because uh, it's I, I, I had to save up for many weeks to buy that with my pocket money. Oh, okay, this, this is actually perfect for Ian. <laughs> uh oh. Yes, you are Ian. <laughs> is it Tingle? No, you're Hestu. Hey. You know, you're you're <laughs> Hestu. And you're dancing with maracas. Yeah. You're in the light of the party. You've got tons of energy and some groovy moves. Groovy moves. <laughs> around you, and for good reason, your positive spirit is infectious. Rock Ooh. on. I think that's pretty nice. Good. Yeah, that works. That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. I love Hestu. Yeah. He's so cute. <laughs> I love his tum tum. He's got mm. such oh, he's cute so tum tum. Good. He's adorable. Yeah. The best. That's amazing. Okay. There we go. Zoe, do you, would you like to go next? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Sure. Okay, however, I'm going to send the link to Ian, and Ian, if you wouldn't mind doing it, because I really need to pee. Okay, oh no, go God. for it. <laughs> While you're sending me the link, I'll just read out a super chat from uh, okay. uh, Ailsa McLaughlin. He says, hello, you beautiful people. Would you rather have to solve a resi puzzle to open every packet of food or have to go through a new <laughs> Zelda temple every time you go to the loo? Um, oh, no. I think... Yeah. I could, I could solve a resi puzzle way quicker than I could get through a uh, Zelda. Zelda. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Resi puzzle. Plus, there's um, a bit more risk involved with a temple before you go to the loo yeah. because uh, you might not true. get there in time if it's a specific temple or something. Yeah. If you get stuck for too long, it's going to be pretty messy. Yeah. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do uh, this. Me and my puppy here, we're going to ask you some questions now to find out. Which Breath of the Wild character you are? What's your uh, puppy called? Sorry. Uh, this puppy uh, is called um, Barnaby. Barnaby. Yeah, and he's he's a, oh, he's, that's a very cute name. He's a little Labrador. Barnaby the but Labrador. The very, yeah, it's a very Labrador name, isn't it? Go and retrieve a Labrador name. Yes. Uh, okay. So, what is your favourite weather? Uh, is it thunderstorms, extreme cold, desert heat, rain, sunshine, or extreme heat? Thunderstorms. Thunderstorms. Yeah, atmospheric AF. Yeah. So Let's what is it. your mission? To retrieve your memories, to find all the shrines, to save Hyrule, to collect all the best gear, to rescue the princess, to finish all of the side quests, to get every last Korok seed, to kill every monster, or to find love? Uh, to finish all the side quests. Nice. I'm addicted to side quests and games. <laughs> They're all I want to do. Nice. Just procrastinate doing the main quests. Yeah. I don't need to do that. It's who, probably fine. Who needs to follow the main story? Yeah. Um, okay. okay. Choose a weapon. Boomerang? Like a scimitar curved Hang sword? On. Ian, stop. I can tell you right now that it's the very... No it's the sword. It's the sword. The, the sword. Okay. Yeah, I've for sure. Don't even need to hear the other ones. It's the sword. Zozo sword. Yeah. Uh, what's Zelda. the dumbest way that you have died in a Zelda game? By falling, by my own bomb, uh, by setting myself on fire, by a tornado of cuckoos, by lightning, by the girl at the flower maze, by trying to take down a guardian, by improper clothing, or by stuff dropping stuff on myself? Definitely yourself. by dropping stuff on myself, for sure. Cool. I did that so many times. <laughs> and what Not do very you good at hand-eye coordination. Oh, no. And what do you do when you're stood underneath the feet of a giant centaur? Do you run away? Do you stay calm? I got this. Do you take him down? Do you accept your inevitable death? Do you pray to Hylia or do you question everything? Uh, I say, stay calm, I got this. Because I usually just throw a ton of bombs their way you're, and just you, fucking leg it. Good. You're definitely the sort of person <laughs> yeah. to have around in an emergency in that case. Mm -hmm. Okay, how would you spend a day off? Horseback riding, solving puzzles, relaxing at the beach, shopping, reading, or hanging with friends? Shopping. 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 <laughs> okay. If I've been going around Hyrule, like, killing things and saving the princess, I deserve to have a day of retail therapy, mm -hmm. goddammit. Mm -hmm. That's fair enough. Okay, where would you choose to live? Garudu Tra Town, Hateno Village, which is where we are right now, uh, yeah. Goron oh, City, please. Hyrule Castle, Yiga Clan Hideout, Rito Village, Zora's Domain, Great Fairy Mount Fountain, or Korok Forest. Oh, what's Rito Village? I'm going to Google that. Is that the bird one? That's the bird one, yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. I choose the castle then. The ca Hyrule Castle. <laughs> the castle, yeah. The castle. Sounds nice. about right. Uh, what quality do you value most in an ally? Loyalty, honesty, kindness, humor, strength, intelligence, dependability, courage, or good looks? Uh, honesty. 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 Yeah. 
Honesty. And finally, what is your favourite Zelda game? A Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, A Link Between Worlds, or Breath of the Wild? Uh, Breath of the Wild is the only Zelda game I've ever played. So, Breath wow. of the Wild. What? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. that is, there's at what least ten late to with, the though? parties that yes. we can play. <laughs> hey -oh. Okay. Well, you are um, Rivali. So Ooh, that is Birdman. a big Birdman, a yeah. You project yeah. confidence in order to hide your deep insecurities about yourself. Can you read me? Get out! <laughs> this makes some people think that you're arrogant. <laughs> regardless, <laughs> okay, true, regardless, that. people value your opinions and you're skilled in everything you do. Yeah, okay, very cool. You, you clawed it back there at the end quiz, I guess. <laughs> I, just, I just did mine and I got Urbosa. No, oh, I what's, it, what, what's the uh, What's the write-up on... You're incredibly strong and a true badass. For this reason, you might come off to others as cold. In reality, you're warm. You're a warm and nurturing person. You would do anything to protect the ones you love. Well, that last bit's does, true. Anyway. Does this BuzzFeed? Yeah. Does this BuzzFeed quiz know us? Does it? <laughs> does it? <laughs> Have you been looking through my window, BuzzFeed? What are probably, you honestly, it's probably listening <laughs> to us. Absolutely. Um. Uh. Well, yeah, Birthday. Birdman. The geez. library is open. <laughs> the library is definitely open. A few people in the comments oh, saying they got Zelda and Link and stuff. Oh. Ooh, okay, oh. cool. President Good for George you. has done a super chat saying, if you were a Resident Evil villain, what mutation stroke power would you have? Ooh. Oh gosh, that's a that's good one. one. Uh, mm, what mutation stroke power? I quite liked Heisenberg's, to be honest. Heisenberg's was really cool. Yeah. yeah. The, like, because he, he wasn't. He looked like fairly normal, but then he could just make metal do things, which is really cool. I think I I would like something almost akin to uh, the um, Donna uh, Beneviento, where you can like mm. just kind of whisper things at people and like kind of can try and convince them to do things. Mm. Um, True. Do you know what I tweeted recently about Donna? Um, the reason Angie is always like at that height when you're in the mansion trying to find her is because it's Donna running around with her on her arm. Oh yeah, that's why you just it's not floats, uh, isn't it? Yeah, because she Donna's holding her. I thought it was cool. Oh, well, you Ian, what you do have? Um, what? Well, it's quite. I've. Mm, I'd like something that would allow me to travel. So maybe yeah. I'll turn into uh, Lady Domitresque's dragon form yes. and then I could oh like pop God. off on holiday <laughs> every so You could uh, be Miranda and turn into ravens and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, 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 Miranda's cool. Yeah, that, sweet, yeah, definitely. And then I could just fly south for the winter and get some... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just not be malevolent in the slightest. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, sure. one, no one voting for growing a giant eyeball on their shoulder or anything then. No. No. No one voting to have their brain extruding from their skull on their back and turn into a giant oh, fish. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. fish brain. Mm. Uh, yeah, same voice actor as uh, Lucas, which blew my mind when people talk. Honestly, me. when you see like when you hear the differences in voice actors' characters, it just it's mind blowing. It's like, oh, okay, no, you are a voice actor. Like you, yeah. this is your job. I would That's love amazing. to be a voice actor. I think it like it's it obviously like takes so many skills but it looks yeah. like it'd be really mm. fun you know trying out different characters and stuff yeah, yeah. i'm just leaning into it as well the biggest voice actor surprise for me was when i found out that nola north played david in the last of us because i thought what oh the really because it's like what? which one's david david's the Bad really guy. nasty guy at the end oh he's, him yeah 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 he's yeah. like going ring, ring, ring. And he's got a really yeah. weaselly voice and you just normally when you play a video game with nola north in you're like us oh, nola north it's, it's nola Nolan north, north yeah. nola north's voice <laughs> but yeah it was a completely different voice and there was rumors before it came out that um nola north was going to be in it and then i played mm. it before it came out for like a review and um uh, I was like, I didn't notice Nolan North in it at all. And then in the credits, I was like, what the? Oh my god! Yeah. Where the hell were you? Yeah, yeah. So that was pretty. Uh, that was pretty cool. But um, I, yeah, weirdly, um, uh, I, Lucas, um, people have been saying I look like Link. Or something. I don't Who's been saying I don't that? Understand. No one. No one. No, 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 I don't no, understand. I don't know. There's some weird, some people that. were mentioning that some people had said that maybe I, but I don't know. No, must have no been, idea. Yeah. That's news to me. Yeah, it must yeah. have been something I imagined. I don't know at yeah. all. Yeah, that was no probably way. a dream you had or something. Yeah, yeah. it must have been. <laughs> You're a game of gaslighting since 2021. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah we... I need, I started playing The Last of Us and I've got, 
Oh, fuck, where have I got to? I got past the hotel basement, mm. but I've now got to a point where it's all getting very heavy, yeah. and I don't have the emotional strength to like play any more of it at the moment. I just need to like give myself a break. And it's it's fir- a first one, oh, or the second one. Yeah, the first one, no, the first one, yeah. It's frustrating because I want to play the Left Behind DLC, but I need to finish oh. the first game first, mm. and it's like, ugh, yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. I've been playing anyway. through them all with uh, with my wife recently because she played mm. Last of Us years ago, and it was a bit too scary for her. So, oh. like, we, I, she's not scared by it now, but like, sat through it with the first one and the Left Behind DLC, yeah. and she's on to the second one now. And nice. That is. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing our reactions to some of the things that happen in there. Yeah, there's a the thing like, I don't, I, I kind of know what happens in the in the entirety of Last of Us because it's been out for so long. Mm. But part two, I know maybe one thing that happens, and that's literally it. Like, so I really do want to play it, but yeah. Well, if you think <laughs> Last of Us one is heavy, just wait till you get to the sequel. I, <laughs> lo- I love to a lot, but I, it's one of those things that like, I, I know I won't play it again for a really long time mm. because. It, takes a lot like to yeah. get yeah. through it there are some there games is. when you're like i'm never playing that again but i'm glad i played it like just <laughs> not, not, not some really good films where you're like wow yeah. that was incredible it makes me think differently about mm. everything but i'm i don't want to relive it like yeah. i don't the lighthouse i'm never watching that fucking film again but i'm very glad <laughs> i saw it the lighthouse what with robert patterson yeah <laughs> <laughs> so much, one? so much wanking. It's the one way he so fucks a mermaid. Much wanking. Yeah. yeah, it's I'm just sorry. What? Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it, it's a weird film. Like it's one of those films where you, you go on YouTube immediately afterwards and you're like, "The Lighthouse explained." Like, yeah. just what the fuck did it's I just so watch? It's so fun. It's like it's really good. It's black and white, four by three. Like, like the it's filmed on like I guess proper like old school yeah. cinema reel because it's like looks really aged and stuff mm-hmm. and um, it's got Willem oh, Dafoe this? in it Willem Dafoe is just mm-hmm. f- brilliant in it as this salty semen like um, not not pun not intended um <laughs> he's sure like, he, it wasn't intended he's uh, like a really obsessive kind of guy who's been on this lighthouse island for yeah. like years whatever and Robert Pattinson's character is, re- is really strange. You, feel, yeah. you think he's normal at first, and then you're just like, oh, are you okay? Mm-hmm. But it's it's a, it's one of those films where you should watch it with quite a lot of alcohol, just yeah. so you can get yourself through it. Cause, oh, <laughs> definitely. It starts off really slow, and you're like, what the hell is this? It's a, yeah. It feels a bit art house and a bit like, mm-hmm. oh. And then it just suddenly goes, whoo! And you're like, what? Yep. Um, yep. Another good okay. film that I saw recently that I didn't, like I knew a little bit about, but like surprised me as being really good was um, the color out of space with Nicolas oh, Cage heard of in that. it. Um, it's really oh. good. Like if you if you like creepy sci-fi um, yes. with a, a, a quite a, a a nice dollop of body horror, yes. um, <laughs> yeah, the a color out of space <laughs> is really good. I mean, it's yeah. Nicolas Cage. It's got to be good, right? Is yeah. he his usual weird self in it? He is. He is his usual weird. Self. He's not as weird as he is in Mandy, but he's still there. Is a lot. Of, there's a lot of bits, a lot of opportunities for him to go very weird in it. Jesus. Um, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been. Or I've almost finished Chernobyl at last. At last. And oh. there have been like at least three times I've had to go out of the room because I can't. I'm like, just call me when this bit is over. Which I don't, one? What is, I don't it? Watch what is it? it? What? Which bits in Chernobyl? Oh, oh Chernobyl. I thought Chernobyl. you said a novel. Yeah. I was like, yeah, oh, me oh too, no, yeah. Chernobyl. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Deb watched Chernobyl and I, really I, I, I kind of chinned in the night of it because was, I was doing other stuff at the time, but it seems yeah. super heavy. It's like, like it's great, but God. It's one of those TV shows where like you watch it. Like it's not like The Sopranos or I don't know, like Shit's Creek where I can have it on in the background when I'm doing something. Yeah. It's like a tea, like a proper like stuff with the biopic. animals. Like, I, could, I, couldn't, I couldn't. Yeah, that's yeah. one of the bits where I was like, cool, yeah. just call me when it's done because yeah. I'm not watching this. The animal no, episode is, is, is hard, but yeah, mm. I mean, it's so good. So many good British actors in it as well. Mm. Like They really just, it's like, oh, I know him and I know him and I know her. It's mm. just like all of them. Yeah, because um, they didn't they didn't try to do Russian accents at all, no. did they? They yeah. just, it's, yeah. have you seen The Death of Stalin? No. That's, oh my god. Death of Stalin's the one done by um Brass Eye Guy. Isn't it? Armando Unici. Yeah, yeah. Who did Thick of It. Yeah. Death of Stalin is so fucking good. It's a dark <laughs> comedy. It's on Netflix. It's amazing. Oh, it's about the fall of Stalin. I, don't... I didn't realise it was on Netflix. So... Yeah, it's on Netflix or Prime, I'll it's one add of them. It to my but list. it's about 
the like uh, upheaval that happens after Stalin dies with everyone trying to grab power. It's got like Steve Buscemi in it. Like it's a it's a dark comedy. But none of them try to do accents. Hmm. So there's like northern accents. There's like Buscemi is American. There's like a <laughs> southern one. It's just and it works really well. Like nice. it's such it's a good film. Like, yeah. I love it. Um, mm. We've got a super chat from Lloyd that says, in Disco oh. Elysium vein, which item of clothing would be your spirit guide slash intrusive thought conduit? I don't need a conduit. I get plenty of intrusive thoughts anyway. <laughs> um, mine would be like either my pink leather jacket oh, or yeah. it would be like one of those sheer black dressing gowns with the fluffy sleeves that just like have oh, a train. Man. I'd yeah. fucking love that as a thing. What about you two? Well, I've not played Disco Elysium, so I'm not 100% so, like, sure what any of that means, but it's going to have to be jorts, isn't it? Really? I know. Clothing like gives you attributes, so like it gives right. you benefits to certain skills and stuff. It's a it's yeah. Thing. It'll, what about you, whatever, Ethan? it'll be jorts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know what mine would be. I don't know. It's really Can't good. Like, yeah. Some kind Maybe of designer like... bag. Your thigh high boots. <laughs> yes. There we go. Yeah. That's my, it. Uh, absolutely, my Stuart Wiseman's. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thought I miss it. wearing them. Uh, There's no way you can't wear them at the in the house. Like soony not... for soon. You know it. Um, so, we've got a super chat from DCC that says, have any of you seen the Werewolves Within movie yet? It's got pretty good reviews. Do you know what? I no. haven't. I didn't even know it was out. I heard it was being made, but um, yeah, I didn't know it was that. It's a weird one, that, because it's like Werewolves Within oh. is like a VR, like a Ubisoft VR game or something that just got randomly made into a, an, into a movie. Yeah, <laughs> but it's um, it's Werewolf. Like, it's the game yeah. Werewolf. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it really confused me when it came out because I was like, this is literally that game, isn't it? Yeah, and then they did a VR version called Werewolves Within and yeah, and then they lifted that. Very, uh, so I'm, I've just sent you both an email about this, oh. which is actually very funny. It just came through, like literally while we've been screening this. Uh, but yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. I would, I, I went to the cinema for the first time in, uh, well, since everything huh. uh, last week and it was so nice oh, I miss the there. cinemas I miss the cinemas yeah. so much uh, oh, yeah, I, 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 I got kind of, the same email yeah, yeah. I, I just want to kind of watch something on a big screen and just like mm. eat a stupid amount of sweet popcorn before the ads even finish or something like that so um, yeah, what a, yeah. About, yeah I get like I get like the whole way down the box before the <laughs> film even starts <laughs> It's just like it's popcorn. I can't yeah. not just like mindlessly shove it into my face when I'm in the cinema. Well, you I don't went, know what happens. Yeah, you went to the cinema last weekend, right, Aoife? First yeah, time in a while. Yeah, first yeah. time in a while went to see uh, Black Widow, which mm. actually was really good. I was surprised nice. how good it was. So, um, yeah, Florence Pugh, absolutely. Yeah. We were going to go and see it uh, this weekend at the cinema, but it's forecast to be such nice weather we're going to go out on a big walk and have like a picnic and Yay. stuff so instead when we get back we're going to rent it off disney plus and, and nice. have popcorn yeah. at, at home awesome. instead um yeah. we've got a super chat from spiffy mark that says yes thank you for evangelizing death of style and love that film so mm. much the thick of it and veep same creator great as well oh friend you don't have to tell me that i love those shows they're so good I feel like maybe we should do a members video where we each watch one episode of one of our favourite TV series and then we can like talk about it afterwards or something. Ooh, yes, I like That'd that. Maybe yeah. like a like a book club but for but for other things. Yeah. <laughs> anything club, something like that. Yeah. The anything oh, club. I love it. Yeah, the anything club. Yeah. Oh man. <sighs> I can't it's, believe it's, it's Friday it's, already. I definitely I feel like I've earned this wine. <laughs> Oh yes, it's meant to be really nice weather this weekend, though, which mm -hmm. I'm quite, quite happy. Yeah, about. yeah. Hammock, Enjoy hammock, and barbecue thing. weather for oh, definite. <laughs> yeah, it's been really barbecue. annoying because last few weeks it's been like really nice weather during like Wednesday and Thursday, and the weekend's been like overcast. Here. Always the way. Uh, yeah, yeah. And this weekend finally it's going to be a nice, nice bit yeah. of weather. So uh, I'm going to make the most of it definitely. Yeah, I do kind of want winter and autumn to come back now though i'm not mm. i'm not a hot weather person i really love layers in my big black coat i just want winter to come back the problem is like i i'm more of like a like an autumn person i like mm -hmm. i like not having to dress like stupidly layered but i also like having a jacket and living here that there's never the weather for that it's never just leather jacket weather or at least there's a tiny window it's like a week of leather jacket weather and that's it yeah and it's like, oh god, check. Like, give me a yeah. little bit of, you know, warm but like with a cool breeze. Are you, are you eating like... another Percy Pig? <laughs> no. I want a Percy Pig. 
Me too. Nom 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 nom. nom. They're so good. Their fizzy tails are great as well. We're not sponsored by M&S, we should just say, but their fizzy tails are amazing. Uh, I'm up for uh, being sponsored by M&S if it means I get free Percy Pigs. Yeah, just saying. Sure. Just saying, M&S, Absolutely. if you're watching, I know you hey. have liked and subscribed ages ago. Hey. Would you uh, like to thanks. sponsor one of our Taster Steve streams? Because <laughs> you definitely should. Thanks. Every kind of Percy Pig rank. Yeah, yeah I will uh, rank all of your Colin the Caterpillar cakes. Oh, God, um, that's okay. From best to worst. You can put multiple ones in a line to create a human centipede try to try <laughs> and just see how far you can get. <laughs> Definitely. What position would you... Have I asked this question before? Probably. Oh, for fuck yeah. There's really one right answer in that question. That I don't is. know why you go... I don't know why anyone would say anything different. Uh, why true. wouldn't he be at the front? Like, come on. That, like, why, yeah, literally, why would you pick any other position? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know, some people might... Like oh, um, Lacroix oh. Boy Marx has done a super chat saying dark comedy recommendations, vicious fun, and Wolf of Snow Hollow. Ooh, Not heard of. I'll either absolutely of those. get on that. Uh, I love comedies where you laugh and you're like, "Am I going to hell for laughing?" Because <laughs> it really was funny. <laughs> uh, oh, speaking um, of, oh, sorry. Go for it. Go for it. I was going to say, speaking of good comedies, have well, you know, good slash dark comedies. Have you seen uh, Bo Burnham's Inside yet? No, no I've heard I a lot about it. To watch it. It's really, really, really. Oh, it's one of those things where it's like, it's, it's like so. It's I'm sorry, but I'm going to be that girl. So many people told me to watch it. I now can't watch it. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah. no, right. I still haven't seen Fleabag. Like, I suffer from a terrible like, uh, well, unique no, I, disease. No, I will not do it. Like, yeah, literally, <laughs> yeah. I can't. I was very <laughs> much the same about like Fleabag, it. and then I watched it, and I was like, ah, shit! I well, I should have watched that earlier. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Absolutely. Well, I, I've watched, like, I've seen, I've been following Bo Burnham for a long time, and this is just, he's always been super, super smart, super perceptive, super, um, you know, anti whatever the heck it is we're all doing with our lives right now with social media and everything. Mm. And this is just, it will speak to you both in particular because it really does come down on, like, there's literally a bit about reaction streams. <laughs> um, <laughs> <gasps> it, it's very it's very it's too real actually. Oh, no. i think see that's the thing like it sounds like a a good movie special whatever for like content creators mm -hmm. and i just i've watched so many videos recently on youtube that's like an analyzing of kind of celebrity culture and mm -hmm. i'm not saying we're celebrities but like there are certain parallels with our life that i can't ignore and i'm like I don't, I just, I don't want to watch anything else. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll give it one, I, find, I will watch it at some point though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is my sixth, sixth monthly uh, uh, recommendation that you two watch Broad City. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. What's You'll that love again? It. It's like it's a comedy series about two women who live in New York, and mm -hmm. um, it's like quite it's quite rude it's like there's nice. drug references it's very sex positive they go drug out references and, yeah they go out and take mushrooms and go into shops and things it, it, it there's like violence it's really funny it's like kind of like um um always sunny kind of like always oh, sunny but i fucking love um, always sunny i've been mean, watching that yeah recently. always sunny yeah. but um set in new york and the two central characters are um just like uh, well, they're kind of like always sunny people, like they're kind of dropouts, but nice. you know, they keep getting into scrapes. It's so funny, and there's like I five really seasons it. of it. You can like super binge oh, it, it's sweet. so binge worthy. Excellent, um, I 100% recommend it. Yeah, it's I really need to watch that. Um, we've got a super chat by the way from Steve Moyer that says, Shh, at work, but had to catch up <laughs> at time, time with you three lovely people, love Yay. your bits. Question, Ian. Well, and to Hello. all of us, mm -hmm. are you going to try out the Ghost Hunter Corp game? Oh, we were we actually were, talking about it just this morning. First we thing were. this morning, in fact. literally. So we would love to check out the Ghost Hunter Corp game, but at the moment it's very early in development, and you can only play multiplayer through Steam. Like, what is it? Steam Share Play or Steam Whatever. Yeah, like um, Steam Co-op or whatever. Steam Co-op. Cool. Yeah. So I think we're going to give it a little bit more time. For yes. it to be polished, because yeah. it does look a very rough around the edges at the moment. Um, the, three of us, the three of us were literally just combing through the Steam page this mm. morning and reading through the reviews. It just, like, every other review is, like, it's super buggy. It just parts that mm. don't work. And, you know, to stream it, we need it, we need it to be a little bit more yeah. dependable. So. Yeah. And we've still got to do Lunch Lady as well. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> 
Really? And maybe we have we... Uh, yeah. Yeah. And there's another <laughs> level on Pacify we haven't even touched oh, yet. Yeah. We haven't we haven't we haven't even finished the witch one, but I guess we know about it now, don't we? I was mm. I was really pleasantly surprised by Pacify, yeah. actually. Yeah. I think it was really good. <laughs> For sure. I feel like we should um if we do lunch lady or like another pacifier, we should get someone from maybe like another team in to do it with us. Mm. Because like Xbox, I think like literally. that would be actually really fun. <laughs> Ellen or something like because three people doing those last bits of pacifier is mm. really stressful. Well, so Ellen nice definitely extra. enjoyed her time with us playing uh, the other. What was the other one? Um, uh, it but, was go goat, goat devour. burner. Devour. Yeah. Goat burner. <laughs> actually, Ellen's not spoken to any of us since then. Well, what the? I was gonna say, like, did she anyone here? Like, yeah. She hasn't replied to any of my emails. What? <laughs> That's weird. Oh man. But yeah, but yeah um, good idea. Actually, we should absolutely. Yeah, I think it's just like I really love that we found this category of like jank horror games to play yeah. because. I don't know if you've all noticed, but there's not a lot of AAA comes out recently. No, so yeah. everything's quite quiet right now. Yeah. yeah, so it's really fun that we found this like category that is like fun but scary to stream. Like it's yeah. just it's really cool to explore it a little bit. Yeah, um, they're really fun. Yeah, yeah, for sure, definitely. But yeah, lunch lady. I couldn't even look at the thumb that we mocked up for it because it <laughs> freaks me out so much. I hate it. It does look pretty <laughs> grim. Uh, oh, Dragon Botherer said, Broad City is fun. Thank you, Ian, for recommending it. It was great when I was going through a misery spell. You're welcome. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah. And, uh, Josh oh, Perini... you know who I think we should... Ooh. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, Sorry. Was, uh, Josh Freeney says, You guys are more than celebrities. You're all legends in a super chat. Yeah. So thank you very yeah. much, oh. Josh Freeney. No, yeah. you're a legend. Oh. <laughs> you're um, a legend. I would love it if we could get Liv from Dicebreaker on one of our Jank Horror streams Please because do. she is... An absolute babe, and uh, we haven't had her on the stream yet. So no. I feel like we should we should invite her to come stream with us. It's, really I've, I've, I've actually yeah. never even spoken to Liv before. It's she's it's hard to interact when you're not in the same office as anymore. So yeah, yeah that'd I, ran, be great. I ran into her when I was in the office the other week, and she's genuinely lovely. Oh so we yeah, yeah, we do definitely that. should. We should sure. do that, and also a, a few people in the chat are uh, saying we should get Andy in for a stream. Which oh, yeah, we, we, yeah, we have done that. that as well. I don't think we've ever had Andy on a stream. No. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. That um, too. We've got a new member, Misguided Mandy. Hey. High five. Oh, welcome, welcome, Misguided Mandy. Awesome. And then we've got a super chat from Pietro P that says, Quick fire, three favorite ghost characters. Go. Oh, uh, oh favorite God. ghosts. Favorite ghosts. Is that oh. three each or one per person? I think it's maybe oh. one, three yeah, each. It's one of those things now where I'm like, Ghosts? So many. Ghosts. <laughs> Samara what? from The Ring, Sexy Dead Patrick Swayze from the movie Ghost, and Slimer from Ghostbusters. No, I hate Slimer from Ghostbusters. What? So. Uh, no! He eats hot it's dogs! Annoying! It's annoying! <laughs> it's annoying no, bad ghost that, that makes a man. <laughs> oh, man. I'd say um, the, like, uh, the wife of William Hill from the uh, house on Haunted Hill. Oh yeah, right. you know the flapper one. Yeah. She's really, I love her. She's so that fucked up. Yeah. Um, and then Eva, you have to go because I'm trying to think of two more. I, I can't think of any ghosts right now. Oh, um, oh, American Horror Story. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, next season, broken neck lady. No, wait, shit. No, that's no, not that's American that, that Horror actually no, but that the broken ne bent neck lady is that's haunted neck lady. Is great. That's mm. also that's also great. Um, but I was thinking of um. Uh, Evan Peters is his character in uh, the first yeah. season of the American Horror Story. I really like the maid as well. She's awesome. Yeah, mm. I like yeah, how yeah. she Zachary Quinto's in one's pretty good as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and then one more. Um, mm. Probably the woman in black, because that mm. the book fucking terrified me and the stage play even more so but she's I so I really cool. want to see the stage play I've always oh wanted God. to see it and I've never gotten to see it. it it's one of those things where like I will never see that again but you should absolutely go see it it's real yeah. like especially because you're into horror Aoife you should definitely yeah. see it the stuff they do with it is incredible I've heard um, it's properly like you know oh yeah terrifying like the, the the way they build up the tension is excruciating like in the most intense way like it's it's so good it's really really good something about a rocking chair right like, oh fuck don't, don't. <laughs> yeah it's, it's horrible but amazing <laughs> oh for sure yeah oh nightcat says um, boo from the mario games the boo oh, ghost oh yeah uh, yeah can i oh, pick uh, bouette i like bouette oh good um, yes yeah uh, how about um, how about uh, the ghost of Christmas Present in uh, the Muppets Christmas Carol? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Come in, oh, God. And know me better, man. <laughs> did I tell you I watched that at Christmas? You did. Last year, watched I the film with Muppets it. in it. You don't like was, Muppets? Oh, no, I don't. 
I watched it though. <laughs> how did, how did that go? It. Was it okay? Um, it. I will admit it is a good film. Yay! I still don't like happy and I liked the um, the I ghost of Christmas Past really freaked me out with like the mm. doll it's face. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it is the past. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, like, and then I watched, you know um, the whole script off by heart, don't you? I do. Literally. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and then afterwards, I watched Treasure Island with them Muppets as well. Oh wow! Because um, oh, I great. fucking Hard. love Tim Curry. I love Tim yeah. Curry, and he was really good in it. So. Oh fuck! No uh, I saw a thing on Twitter the other day, um, and it was it was from a, 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 a Twitter account called "Things That Have Aged Badly," and oh, it was no. the GIF of Tim hey, Curry going, "The place, that, the only place that capitalism can't reach us, space." Yeah. Oh, and God. then it was fucking the Richard Branson. That yeah. hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. <laughs> Too late, Tim Curry, oh, Branson, right. and Musk have fucked that They've dream. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah. <laughs> have you um have either of you seen Rocky Horror Picture Show? Of course. I was gonna say if Rocky you have not <laughs> <show. laughs> Come on. Ian, have you seen uh, it? Not the stage show, but um, No, but the movie. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, in the movie, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, excellent, cool. Just wanted to make sure that was <laughs> so it's one of my favorite films. Yeah, it's so well. fucking good. It's mm. great. Um but yeah, Very we've cool. also got a BMK. Oh, well, it's about it. that time. We've got 15 minutes left, so it yeah. is about the time for BMK. Oh my god, that was This bad. is oh. hard. Lady D, Jill Valentine, and Claire Redfield from DC How Des. Dare you, Des? Honestly, Hawaii. almost on principle, I won't answer that because I'm so I furious. Just... There's for all like... the killers in there. <sighs> Damn, that is hard. I don't, I don't, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. Honestly, uh, it's really hard. I, th I would. Okay, I can go first. I think I've got okay. one. Aoife, I'm so sorry. I would marry Lady D because <gasps> got to get the nobility money and I would love living in a castle. Yeah. And I kind of want to be a goth wife. I'm not going to yeah, lie. Yeah, like, that's fair. what I want. Um, I would fl fuck Claire. Claire, <gasps> Claire. Which means I would kill Jill. I'm <gasps> so sorry, Aoife. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Shook. Aoife's leaving. She's, She's gone. Oh, me. good God. Wow. I said what I said. Did I stutter? <laughs> Oh man, it's gotta be done. Well, uh, I think I'd uh, I'd probably marry Jill, uh, yeah. boink Claire, and I'd have to kill Lady D because I don't think she'd be that interested to in me. What with my I mean... dirty male hands and all that kind of stuff, <laughs> my dirty man <laughs> hands, yeah. Man so, thing. yeah. She'd, she'd turn you into some wine though. She'd get some use out oh, of yeah, you. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah? That's true. But, um, turn you yeah. a scare. You know, she uses the scarecrows of the men in her vineyard. Oh really? Oh. Mm -hmm. I, 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 Okay, yeah, I can see myself oh, yeah. as being Smart. a bit of a scarecrow. She, she uses every part of the body. It's very environmentally friendly. <laughs> Sweet. What about you, Aoife? Go ahead. I, 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 I can't do it, really. But I feel okay. like if I, if you were forcing me to, I'd probably agree with Ian. I'd marry Jill. I'd, I'd fuck Claire and I'd kill Lady D because you have to kill her anyway in the game. Mm. So I can't, I can't touch my... Oh, come I, on. I have <laughs> loved Jill and Claire for many years and I can't... <laughs> I am, a, I, am a, I am nothing if not a loyal bitch, so... That's some, like, I don't dare question destiny yeah. bullshit right there, Aoife. <laughs> Never. I dare you. Yeah. And make me. Remake Jill you. Valentine's got this awesome Mila Jojovic kind of look as well, which, like, yeah, she does. damn. So much. She's I love her. Mm -hmm. Obsessed with her. Oh, I hey, Ian, Ian, did you... Sorry, quick aside, quick aside. Go Ian, uh, the young... Um, young uh, Natasha Romanoff in Black Widow. That's uh, Miliovich's daughter. Really? Oh, I'll keep an eye out for that then. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah, I'm watching it. No, who's... Wait, who's Mila Jojovic's married... Oh, uh, uh, the director guy, isn't it? Paul yes, W.S. Right, Anderson, yeah. 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 Uh, She's married to Wes Anderson. No, Paul W.S. Anderson, which is... That's confusing. He's the guy that directed... Um, his best film is Event Horizon, and then the rest of them are shite. Oh, yeah, okay. but he got Mila Jovovich, so he has to, there has to be something That's going true. for him, you know. Yeah, jeez. Mila Jovovich, back oh, in the day, used to be uh, used to be going out with John Frusciante, the go the guitarist from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. She's so beautiful. Mm. She's just stunning. She is. Like, mm. she's just gorgeous. She's got and the face. She does. She has e the everything. Like, and yeah. yeah. Um, for sure. We missed a super chat from Cheerful Spider. Ah. It says, so I'm curious, how mega weird is the whole parasocial relationship part of being famous, being important, but low-key friends to hundreds of people? I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't really consider 
myself famous. I don't think. No, I, think I don't think any of us no. do really. And I don't think it's healthy to like. I think like mm -hmm. it's you know for for what we do, it's like it's best not to think like that. I yeah. don't know. I I find it easy like easier not to think like that. I think I, if. Yeah. If you were to kind of assume that you're famous, I uh, think with that comes some entitlement, and mm -hmm. that's not the vibe any of us give, I would hope. No, <laughs> no. I'm not either. No, no, not at all. I'm but just yeah. a weird we, we nerd our, who got a good job. Yeah, we can <laughs> yeah. consider ourselves very lucky, and that's, <laughs> that's kind of it. And we are very, I feel very lucky that we have so many lovely people mm. that, yes. that kind of want to, you know, chin in and hang out with us. And I think that's just the best way to look at it really yeah definitely for sure yeah, yeah absolutely um i think what i'm like super looking forward to this year is uh hopefully egx will happen if it's safe mm. and if it's okay because yeah. like i think Ephra and ian you both both probably feel the same it's so nice to meet you yeah. and like to actually meet all of you and like to be like oh yeah we do actually like have people that we interact with outside yeah. of like youtube and stuff it's just really nice for us to do so i really hope mm. that that happens at some point well, it's because been uh, yeah, it, it, you're absolutely right. Like, it's been nice to, because, you know, prior to uh, the pandemic, yeah, we, we did some meet and greets, but we weren't streaming as much then. And I feel like it's changed the dynamic slightly and that, you know, now we obviously have gotten to know a lot of our regular chatters yeah. better. It's like, it's, it's going to feel a bit different actually getting to meet a lot of you now and it's going to be even cooler because it's like oh my gosh like i feel like we've i we've... recognize you oh, i yeah. remember <laughs> stuff that you said yeah yeah it's gonna be fun yeah, yeah but sure. um on that subject if you do ever meet us at a meet and greet it's if you say hello i'm blo also follow up with your youtube name just yes, because <laughs> sometimes people go hi i'm dave and you're like hey dave and then, <laughs> and then they're like, oh, I'm not. And they go, oh, you're the, the. So, yeah. Yeah. It does definitely yeah. help. Mm. For sure. Because we would, you know, we would remember, but it's like, you know, at EGX especially, we're all sleep deprived. We've got a, yeah. like a lot of things going on. And mm. it's just like, it helps just to be like, right, yes, got you. There yeah. you are. Yeah. yeah. For sure. At EGX, just like bear in mind that we're mainly running on fumes for most of it. So we need like an extra help every now and again. Um, we've got a super chat from DCC that says Paul Anderson's best movie is Mortal Kombat. That's, oh. I mean, that's a good movie. I, I just, that is. I, it's up there. As a is that the cool, recent one cheesy, that came out? No, it's, it's the very cheesy 90s one, which I loved which when is I was a kid. Mortal Kombat! Mortal Kombat. Oh, it is good. I'd still, I'd still rate Event Horizon just over it. Because it's got Sam Neill in it from Jurassic Park, oh. but um, is that the only reason? Well, no, it's it's. I was going to say, I think it's more than just. No, <laughs> it's got a good sci-fi horror. Um, nice. It's like basically a spaceship that they invent, um, like teleportation almost, but it takes them. It opens up a portal to hell. Um, oh jeez. It's, it's, okay. it's pretty nice. It's, it's, it's a little. Bit, it's aged a bit now, but it's still good. Nice. You should um both watch a dark song, by the way. It's a really okay. good movie that I enjoy quite a lot. Okay. What's it it's not sci-fi. It just randomly came into my a, brain. A dark song or the dark. A dark song, song. yeah. A dark song. Okay. A dark song. Cool. Um, we got a super chat from Corvus Albright that says BMK, Red Dead Redemption Two, Marvin from H A R two D two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Sorry. That, that giant just saw Red Dead Redemption 2. How's that <laughs> giant glass of wine treating you, Zoe? Oh, it's doing great. Yeah, I've got roses and everything now. It's doing amazing. Okay, Are... Red Dead Redemption 2. No! <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2. No. Uh, oh, from Hitchhiker's Guide! That makes sense. And David from Prometheus. <laughs> they're, okay. all, they're all cyborgs. Yes, okay. Okay. I see the link yeah. now. Uh, David from Prometheus is up his own ass. I'd marry RTD2. I'd bonk Marvin the Paranoid Android. And uh, yeah, I'd kill David. What does David look like? He looks David Michael off? Fassbender. Yeah, it's Michael Fassbender. Oh, I would, I would fuck my mom. Yeah, me too. God. I, I, I'm sorry. I Absolutely. would marry R2D2 though. And yeah, I'd kill uh, yeah. Marvin. Yeah, yeah Marvin's, same here. David would just play the flute at you for ages and talk about religion and you'd be like, fuck off, the, David. That's not what we're not talking about. about. Just because no, yeah. I about could bounce him, a grape not... off your abs doesn't mean you're interesting. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't need to be interesting, Ian. He <laughs> fair enough. Good. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, God. And we've got a super chat from Aaron Cole that says, I'm finishing off some sales reports while having mm. a bit. Cheers to you three super nice. people. Oh, thank you. Well Another BMK has come along from Mike Ferrant says, BMK with alcohol mixes. Oh. 
Pickle juice, <laughs> olive juice, and lemon juice. Oh god. Oh god. They're all gonna sting for starters. Oh, that's, so. that's grim, yeah. Jeez. Basically disinfecting each one of them, aren't they? I don't mm. think I've ever had olive juice. Olive oil no. is a good time, but no, I don't think I've had olive juice. I've had I mean I've tasted some of the stuff in um uh, you know when you have olives that like pickled, mm. but I would call that pickle oh, juice yeah. or something. Isn't, it, isn't you know? olive juice where you like mouth it and then it looks like you're saying I love you? Oh yeah, a little bit. We yeah, all it does just a bit. did it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> that one goes out to the viewers. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Like um, uh, elephant oh poo as well. If you if you mouth elephant poo, it looks like yeah. you're saying I love you. I'm <laughs> pickled salt and lemon juice. Well. Lemon juice the thing is, is you, you don't want to get any of that stuff up in your coochie, so you really shouldn't have <laughs> any of that, to be perfectly it's a very, honest. Not you know, have that, to bother whole environment, about. that whole environment needs to maintain a regular PS certain neutral. balance, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Otherwise, oh you're in god. for a world of hurt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely. Oh my god. Uh, Crikey, All someone right. said olive juice is, like, really grim as well, so let's kill that. Oh, oh you do have it in martinis, of course, Matt Ball says, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. Fine. Oh no. no I no. do love lemon juice though. Uh yes. it's just so, I feel like even when like when cooking, lemon juice just adds extra finesse to any kind of mm. dish pretty much. Just always yeah. put that stuff in. Zest. Yeah. Zest all the citrus fruits. Zest. Um, You're yeah. the zest around. I would honestly have like lime on everything yeah. if I could. I love lime so much. Lime, lime makes everything better mm -hmm. for sure. Absolutely, yeah. Oh We've my god. We've got five minutes left. Should this has gone really like, quickly. Yeah. Should we do like another quiz? Should we do some more BMKs? Uh, How are we gonna... oh. Five minutes left. Well, I tell you what I will do um, mm -hmm. is remind people and I'm putting yeah. the link into the chat right now, is that in 15, well, 20, well, 19 minutes time now, uh, over on the PAX uh, <laughs> website, uh, well, it's actually on twitch.tv forward slash PAX from 6.15 p.m. BST to 7.15 PS, uh, p.m. BST. Uh, us three, Team Eurogamer, uh, we're going to be braving waves of moulded in the musty basement of the Baker family farmhouse as we play the Team Eurogamer's Resident Evil 7 Nightmare Challenge. So if you want a little bit more uh, Team Eurogamer for your Friday evening, go check that out. That's an hour long and... Uh, we, we see who lasts the long against hordes of the molded. All of the um, molded. Oh my screams. gosh, there's so many. There was a lot of screams. Yeah. So many Oh wow, Volpe's Obscura says that they used to use half of a lemon as a contraceptive measure. Down How here like or down there? Like, which yeah. way? How does that work? Uh, I've been like watching a lot yeah. of um, Old Orc Empire and they use like Lysol and I'm like, but how? Like, how Ooh. does that help? No. Just, no, 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 Yeah, um, yeah hard to Over on Twitter, Adele of Runway has tweeted us a uh, a, a picture of their um, cheese and onion lager. It actually exists. It's oh, jeez. It's called Seabrook's Bags of Flavor Cheese and Onion Lager. Bags oh. of Flavor. It's from, it's from Northern Monk. Oh, they're, fuck. Are, They've just, sorry. Are... They said they've got a prawn cocktail one to try as well. And oh, my God. Gag. No. Nope. No. no prawn Monk. cocktail is just tomato flavor. What? If Isn't you look it? at the seasoning in prawn cocktail, it's tomato seasoning. Oh. Next time you have prawn cocktail, just think and you'll know it's tomato. It's wild. Okay. I suppose that kind of makes sense because it's about the so like Murray Rose sauce or whatever it is like mm. it's ketchup and mayonnaise, isn't it? Yeah. Like um, Jammer, you do need an account to comment on a Twitch stream. You do have to have an account. So. Oh, there we go. Just to let you know. Yeah. Oh, um, and man. It, anyway, Northern Monk is a really nice brewery, though. They do uh, Faith, a Paisy, Paisy? Uh, a Hazy Pale Ale, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, they do lots of nice things. And, um, Big fan of Pale Ale. And they're, they're a, good, a good brewery to support because they, in turn, have supported quite a few LGBTQ, LGBTQ plus charities. How's that and... whiskey treating you, Aoife? <laughs> Here, I've had literally one measure. I'm just, it's just a Friday and I'm very, very sleepy. But, um, but yeah, they, they've, um, they've uh, donated to quite a few nice charities recently. Nice. So they deserve your support. Nice. Um, but yeah, the cheese and cheese and onion beer, I, I, I don't know. I'm not so sure. But... I'll try anything once. I'd give it a go. And then <laughs> I'd have a sip, buy some tequila yeah. or something. Yeah. But what? Oh man. oh man well uh, this has been fun it is the yeah. time has absolutely flown which is probably like a sign that we need to do this more often yeah, yeah. for know? sure Definitely. absolutely 
Well, yeah. we are not, uh, we have nowhere near run out of um, video game bars and taverns for us to no. drink in. And there's plenty more people we can invite on that haven't been on a happy hour tavern time before, such as Liv from Dicebreaker yeah. and maybe one yeah. of the Oxbox lot as well. Yeah. How We've had our Oxtras on. Haven't I don't we think have? we've ever, no, we've never we've had, had someone from Oxtras. We, yeah, we have had the Oxtras one. We've yeah. had both, well, both the Oxtras. Yeah. But no one. We, from we us. we've done them with Among Us, but not like yeah. on their own. We yeah. need to divide and conquer. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we need to do individually. They know us well, though. They're scared of us, and they're rightfully, yeah, that's rightfully why. so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll put the feelers out and we'll definitely do another one of these if you lot at home are uh, interested. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for all your super chats and all your chats. Uh, we've had a lovely time and so have all our virtual pets, including the so sloth, many of them. the cat, the They're seagull, and, and the, the dog. And there's an elephant somewhere as well. Um, now we know that we need to have, we need to have Jaeger bombs and Blue Hawaii's. Yeah, we, yes. yeah. as soon as I've finished this, uh, the, close this stream off, I'm down in both of those. Absolutely. <laughs> and make sure to follow us on Instagram at Team Eurogamer. Uh, just above us, you can see the mm. handle. And um, we've just reached 6,000 followers. So you'll get, you're, if you follow it, you'll get, yay, you'll yay. get updates on daily videos we have coming out, live streams, and behind the mm. scenes stuff as well. And I'm streaming Makeup Level Up tomorrow at 7pm. So, I'm very excited. Nice. If you want to see me do a look based on Megara from wow. Hades, which I'm very pumped for then uh yeah tune in at 7 p.m on eurogamer when i'll be streaming it live so Thanks. just prepare for makeup to go everywhere Yay. nice and all you brand new members from today as well don't forget to head on over to discord link your youtube uh, account with discord and then you'll be able to get access to the team eurogamer discord channel as well loads of chat channels in there about loads of games and hobbies yeah. and whatnot yeah. Awesome. Yeah, but thanks All so much right. for watching, everyone. Yeah, yes. have a lovely weekend. And we will see you again. Well, Zoe will see you tomorrow. And we'll see you for many more streams next week. Indeedy. Indeedy. We right. Will. I'm going to make sure I press the right button this time. So uh, <laughs> here we go. Right. Well, um, I've drunk all my drink, but cheers, everyone. And have a great Bye. weekend. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye.